you know, right now where we're standing, we're in Camden, New Jersey. Yeah. Philadelphia is right there. This is the concrete jungle. And you know, a lot of those kids, as they grow up, they don't fish. It's interesting because they're surrounded by water. You know, the, the Delaware River, the Schuylkill, ponds, city park lakes, but they don't have the influence to, to, to cast, to fish, to have a rod and reel. And that really, that became our focus, you yeah. know, is to target kids in what we call non-traditional areas, yeah. you know, urban areas, city centers, where the population's high. And, and let these kids have the experience. You know, it, it, it's amazing. I mean, some of the experiences we've had, whether it's Central Park in New York City, here in Camden, other parts of the country, even just casting, yeah. it's unbelievable to see it, isn't it? Yes. It's unbelievable. Yes. A and, uh, you know, you see these kids have this experience they've never had, and they light up, you know? The big thing, I think, for the Ike Foundation is we're not, we're not saying we want all these kids to become professional anglers. No. It'd be great if some of them did, but we want them to have that fishing experience because it ties them to so, mu so many other positive things. The outdoors, nature, conservation, conservation. Uh, ecology, um, you know, all these amazing things in life that maybe they wouldn't have been exposed to any other way. We're trying to help with that. So it's, it's important, it's important for us. Yeah. We're proud of it. What is this foolishness? How many dreams can you shape in a minute, an hour? The kind of clean you like best. I lost three of my teeth, too. All right, so you lost. Next time you win. Steamy, hot, hearty, delicious, invigorating. Gente Casa, Gente Casa, folks at home, folks at home, welcome to a brand new Ike Live show. This is one of my favorite shows of the year. It's the Halloween special. Yeah. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Miyagi. Thank you for teaching me all those years. Now I kick ass. Uh, we got a great show for you tonight. Uh, we got uh, the one and only Jay Kumar. Jay Kumar. Jay Kumar. Kumar. Joining us a little later in the show, of course, you know Jay from, uh, uh, originally from Bass Fan, now from Bass Blaster. Also, we're going to be doing a little catch-up of what's been going on. Let me introduce the cast tonight. we got a great one sitting to my far right, the one and only Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Freddy, how you doing tonight? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> he even scared a black belt. That's almost impossible. <laughs> did he ever have dialogue in his movies? Yeah, Grr! yeah. Is that it? No, I think he did talk. Freddie talked, didn't he? I don't remember him having lines. Brian, uh, Brian I Carpenter. I mean, oh, Freddie's not no. dead. <laughs> yeah. No, well, he had to do something. No, no, he Freddie. Did have to do something, Freddie right? did have dialogue. He, he had did? dialogue, yeah, because he he interacted with the characters for sure. Really? Yeah, I think he did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how you doing, Freddie? How's the claws? How's it's been? It's been a while. At this time. Ah, man, it's been super busy, man. We've been all over Bashu's, filming at Watts Bar and uh, down at Lake Lanier and and uh, ASA here. Summit in over New there. Orleans. Man, you we, guys been busy. We've been we've been busy. It's been a great October. All right, we want to hear more about some of that stuff. We want to hear more about it. Yes, sitting to my right, we have Peg Bundy. Peg. Hi. <laughs> How you doing tonight? I'm good. Al let me out. Al <laughs> let you out of the house? <laughs> Holy hell, he's going to be mad at me and try to beat me up? Yeah. I'll have to use some of my techniques. Al. Al. How you doing, Beck? I'm good. It's nice to see you. You look good as a redhead. Thanks. What do you think? Uh, maybe changing the color? I got yeah. strength for that. Nothing? Yeah, uh, I, mean, you know I think saying? she looks really good as a redhead. Yeah, so do I. Uh, sitting to my left. Hold on, are we giving up the names? 
Oh, we, we, you want to give them up? Okay. No, know. maybe we shouldn't. All right, sitting to my together. left yeah. is... Oh, we just gave out two. Yeah, Three. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure this show I makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. All right, let's not it give... It never makes sense. All right, let's, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't give any anything else away. Because this is a tough one. Yeah, yeah. sitting to my left, we've got... Uh, give you some hints here. We He's got a professional boxing career. Huh? He also okay. has uh, driven around in a van. A knock, bit. knock. Tough man competition? Yeah. What is that? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Who's there? Us. Us? Who? Us is going to punch you in the face. You introduce me last again, sucker. <laughs> 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 All right. We're going we're to leave him nameless, but I have an idea <laughs> who that is. Uh, sitting over at the table. Uh, table? At, 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 yes, at the table today, we have, I don't know. Uh, I, let's just, we'll... we'll We'll go by the sound of this one. Who who are you tonight? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, wait. Uh, say that again. Wait, the wait. mouth opens. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Oh, wow. Up, wow. There, up there looking like the last thing a milk carton kid sees at a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> 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 sorry, I had to clear my voice. Well, uh. well I, have, I, uh, I have a feeling your name spelled backwards is Paul. So, Paul. It's good to see you tonight. <laughs> Glad you're here. Going yes. by T-Rex today. But Glad you're here. Yeah, I'm still Paul. Good, good, good to have you tonight, of course. And then uh, uh -huh. pushing buttons, making plays tonight. We got two fellas behind the desk tonight. And uh, the first one, you know, working on the IMs tonight. Yeah. Who are you? I want to know. You don't you know. No, let's not give it away. Any guesses from around the room? Pete, oh, wait, I got are you nothing for Jake. This? No. 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 I don't know. I Peg, did you think like he was Superman? No. Yeah, because the glasses and the hair. No, the glasses come because I don't wear contacts. That's that's yeah. beat. That's <laughs> real. That's real that's life real. stuff. That's real. That's real Superman Wait, stuff. Wait, so is that even part of the costume? No, that's because <laughs> I, <that's 'cause laughs> I can't see without them. Wait, so the <laughs> only costume elements are the hair and a and flannel a pla shirt. Flannel yeah. shirt. Yeah, easy. All right, let's. We're gonna we're gonna leave, we're gonna we're gonna save that. We're gonna he, save he's that. He's a main I, character. It's not even a, like supporting. Anybody character. on the wow. message board get it? No, they got Paul though. From the eighties. From the 80s. From the 80s. Okay. Sitcom. I followed all the rules. Uh -huh. Bought the costume. Look at Pete. Look at Pete's got a blank. I got, I got, I got, a, <laughs> I got a guess. I'll hold on to it. Uh, hold on to it. All right. And uh, producing the show tonight, uh, the only thing I can say, I don't want to give it too much away, Jay Fry, Spiegel. Is <laughs> <laughs> Jay Spiegel. Yes! From uh, down at DC. <laughs> Jay, how you doing tonight? Oh, good. We got a good couple Mike. new we got a couple new patents and trademarks we're working on. So All right, I'll get right on. We're gonna be in contact. Uh, it's gonna be a really good show. Of course, we want to thank our great sponsors, uh, Mystery Tackle Box. We're gonna be doing an unboxing a little later. Normally, I use a pen tip to open the box. Tonight, I'm gonna be karate chopping that shit open. Some other kind of pen tip. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? I'm gonna karate chop that fool, Murdoch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Murdoch. laughs> That's so good. He's going to cry it. Um, also br uh, brought to you by Founders. Man, we got some great Founders beer tonight. This is one I hadn't had in a bit, and it's uh, tasting lovely tonight. Drinking the Centennial IPA. I do very, be liking that. Very good. Brian, good choice tonight. Oh, thank uh, you. The Centennial. Oh, yeah. I, I uh, here's all the credit. Yes, here's the deal with Founders, too, man. If you're watching or listening from a place that, you know, you're like, man, I live in. Arkansas or I live in Ohio. I don't know where to get it. Uh, just go to founders.com, uh, uh, type in your zip code there, and you'll be able to find a great place. Uh, the Oktoberfest is out, right, Brian? Also got a be breakfast stout out. What else? Nice porter out right now. Yeah. Check them out. Uh, also, there's a Founders app you can download. Which one do you have? Oh, the Centennial. Uh, the Centennial. Yeah, I, yeah, I love the Centennial. Right here. Oh, oh, yeah. How's that one? It's like lunch. Breakfast. Get a little close up of that so everybody can yeah, see that label. Yeah, you got it right there? Show a little bit of that. Yeah, Show a little bit of that right there. Yeah. By the way, uh, Mystery Tackle Box, I did. I forgot to peg. I, I skipped over this one. We do have a couple of really cool codes going on right now. Uh, if you go over to mysterytacklebox.com, you're like, man, I want to have stuff brought to my doorstep every month. Use uh, the promo code Ike Live, and you get 30% off your first Elite Box, 50% off your first Pro Box. That's half. That's a lot of money. Yeah. And I know you're into spending money and saving money. So, right, Peg Bundy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> just, I, I just spend Al's money. You do? Yeah. All right. Al doesn't have any money. He sells shoes. He's broke. He's got more money than Peg. Well, that's true. All right. Uh, also, you got, half, right. you got half of the shoe money. 
Guys, please don't fight. Yeah. Also brought to you by uh, Ike Foundation and Bash U. Head over to Bash U. We'll talk a, bit, a little bit about that later, Pete. And Ike Foundation's got some good stuff going on. You and I are the only two that violated, I think, the rules of this contest. We did. We did. We're not sitcom guys. We're, uh, <laughs> we did it have Paul to be was not on sitcom? sitcom. I, didn't, I didn't remember the sitcom part <laughs> of wow. the deal. You're right. <laughs> uh, we're, all, so we're off a little. One of the other ideas I had was, uh, was the Tom Cruise. Uh, from Top Gun was the other one I had, not, but I was gonna be jumping around on the couch and shit. It was <laughs> <laughs> but I just uh, like that, yeah, yeah, it didn't work out. The costume you could still do that. Well, no, you could do, do you know how popular that costume was. It popular? Yeah. Oh, because oh, like because of the something. movie, the rumor yeah. is. Was it more popular than the Mr. T costume? Shocking! My mask came in one day. <laughs> 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 one day, it wasn't as popular, so he did get it. Uh, before we start the show officially, we want to thank our military, active veterans, men and women. Thank you guys for what you do. It's crazy. We all also want to thank our policemen, firemen, EMT. Thank you guys. Uh, definitely appreciate you. Um, here's a couple things, Pete. Let's do some catch up. First of all, I do want to start with you. You mentioned it uh, right there in the beginning. Some big trips for you. Yeah. ASA Summit. show mm -hmm. summit. Mm hmm. I don't even know what that is. I'm in the fishing industry, <laughs> and I have no effing clue what the ASA Summit is. T tell me. Tell tell people what that is. Well, it, it, it's the show that we should have been going to for the last two decades. Wow. Uh, honestly, it's okay. it's really it, it's about the fishing industry. It, it whoever it's the people that are that are the fishing industry. Yeah. Are there and all the companies that. Um, make the lures, manufacture the lures, sell the products, build the rods. Yeah. They're all there. Inside mm -hmm. industry ev people, everybody. In inside industry mm. people as well as, you know, y y the ASA is there. And you find that, you know, you learn that the ASA is uh, really a great, great organization. A lot of people are members of the ASA to be part of ICAST, yeah. introduce their products. But there's just so much more that they're doing behind the scenes, you know, it's a, uh, it, it's a, um, it's a complex and a hard job. A lot of times, like we're all, we're, we're all concerned about the conservation of our natural resources, yeah. keeping that, keeping our waterways available for um, the future. Yeah. But there's a balance there between, uh, you know, outdoorsmen wanting to harvest from that and use that and the angler's rights. And the ASA has this, difficult job of managing all of those very very important mm. um interests and dealing with the politics of the situation nice. and just got to see him at work so proud of this though yeah this was the the proud moment for the bash university and and btc and and craig durant getting involved with anglers rights access Yes, that we dealt the with the New Jersey issue, New Jersey issue, and yeah, yeah, and round of applause yes. for that. Yeah, yes, the ASA got behind that, yeah, and, and supported it, and uh, and really was a powerful, powerful friend and a force, yeah, and recognized that that was that was on their agenda, uh, at at one of the one of the meetings um, at that week, which wow. which I was just I, I was thrilled and you know proud to be part of that but the, but what the great because we're it's a little tiny thing right yeah. think about it we've got a lake that they're trying to cut us out we pay the taxes and we have rights to fish yeah. there and they're, they're really make it hard on us but yeah. uh, the asa got behind it because we want to set a precedent that look yeah you can't shut, shut shut lakes down like that they could shut the, if if they allow that to happen then that could happen on a bigger scale right anywhere Multiple. in the country anywhere yeah. and and um, but you mean there, the there whole are country and all businesses, sucker. <laughs> 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 we, 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 they're like they're, they're, they're Mr. T at times. Right. Uh, they have to be. Standing up and fighting yeah. for us as anglers. So, wow. you know, okay. that was just one part of it. But, you know, getting to deal, like, listen to uh, some really good and, and the economics of what's going to happen in the future. Look down there with uh, down the road. And I thought of you guys uh, with the Ike Foundation a lot because of what you're doing, and you need to be applauded greatly. And those organizations that are doing what you're doing were applauded and recognized at this summit. It's so important to get kids introduced to fishing before the age of 12. That is the magic number. Wow. Is 12. A kid, a kid that 
learns fishing before the age will fish the rest of his life. If you get after 12, yeah, not so much. Wow. How about that? That so. alligator over there thinks 12 is a good number, too. <laughs> 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 Two I mean, bites. 12. I, I, yeah. I started fishing at 12, and I haven't stopped since. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it was great. Got to meet. Y- I want to recognize Yamaha. For the amazing work that yeah, the doing. right water stuff is in, awesome in yeah. in uh, in the environment environmental work in addition to uh, you know uh, everything else they do I want to recognize AFCO ten um, percent of their profits yeah, go back cool, to environmental cool. causes yeah. and they're leading they're leading the charge and it makes and, and attending that event makes you really want to uh, step up your game yeah. and and get involved more and do what we can for the sport yeah. so. Uh, met, I mean, I could go on for for hours about all the people we meet. And we yeah. will. Lord knows. We'll sit down, but yeah. it was a it was a blast. That's cool. Got to go to New Orleans, and yeah. it, was, it was a lot Islands. of fun. Yeah. We saw some, heard some music. Got to be, you know, meet so many people that I've n- not n- not got a chance to meet. So it was a ball. That's awesome. Well, yeah. the the uh, I'm I'm glad you explained that because I never really knew what that event was. Uh, but the access issues, I think, very important. And so, two things I want to hit there. One is Paul. That's important. Even, you know, like that, th- that's a, you know, Pete's talking about Greenwood Lake, a lake where they're trying to limit boat access, but the bank access as well is a big thing, right? And, and do you, inc- you encounter some of that stuff, right? You get chased yeah. out? Getting chased out, getting, uh, <laughs> getting yeah. your access denied? I mean, I'm so small and insignificant. I'm usually able to sneak <laughs> in, sneak out. But, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, especially with that mask. I'm sure you oh, blend yeah, right yeah. in. Yeah, I blend right into the environment. Yeah. <laughs> especially with the blueprints of Sesame Place. <laughs> yeah. The brown just blends right in with the dead grass all around the place. Right. Lakes, it, does. Okay. it does. It does. your microphone uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. And I, I want to shout out to Ken Duke, too. Uh, for yeah, Ken. Yeah, uh, Ken. For for inspiring me to attend, and um, and thank you, Ken, for that because that was a great gotta great be a stickler, deci- great decision for us to go. Thanks yeah. to you. Yeah. So it, here's the the thing that I want to the tie in that I have to to what uh, just happened to us last week, which which is uh, you. amazing trip to oh. it, to Italy to do do a little work, do a little sightseeing, do some fishing, and they the fishermen there have no power mm. over anything. And it was blaring, you know, and it's like a lot of times it takes a trip like that to realize that, you know, we do have it good here when it comes to having organizations that represent us, to having, you know, a voice and having, you know, like angry Americans getting together and saying, now nah, this is bullshit. And, it, 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 and over there it was crazy. Like some of the things that were coming up, like, it reminded me of Japan a little where it's like, you know, you couldn't fish in marinas. You couldn't fish around like these islands, like no fishing around the islands. I'm like, why? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like no fishing in, in the marinas when they weren't dug marinas, you know, like stuff like that. And then like um, uh, like these rules. So like the, the one rule on this lake, we fished a amazing lake called Lake Bolsania. And, and you know, uh, they were like, yeah, this this weekend might be a busy weekend because it's the last weekend that you can have an outboard on the lake. <laughs> huh? Wow. What? Yeah. And it's a giant right. lake. It's like, you know, like size of like, like let's say, Oneida. Mm-hmm. And they cut off the times when you could use an outboard. And it becomes a trolling motor only lake. Wow. For months from like November 1st to... Like March. Well, mm-hmm. unless you're a commercial fisherman. Unless you're a commercial fisherman, mm-hmm. you know. So there's all these crazy rules, and uh, and they don't have the they don't have the support unit there. So it's interesting, you know. I think I think we're lucky. We take a lot of stuff for granted. We're lucky. Know? We're lucky. We have the ASA. Yeah. To to help us. Yeah. Yeah. I'd I'd agree. I'd agree. And but Ken Duke. But uh, <laughs> and Ken Duke. But Italy was amazing. Um, I did want to say that the uh, th- that's only my second time there, but the food, Mr. T, the food there, I mean, un unfreaking dude, you would al- you would love it because I know you're a big eater, you would love it. The food there was just to die for. What you get fresh fresh Chef Boyardee right from the pot? Right, <laughs> dude, the <laughs> pasta is incredible. Pasta, ink squid it pasta. Yeah. Yeah. Ink squid it. Ink squid it. Ink. Yeah, and so the, the the highlight, one of the highlights of the week, I do want I do want to mention this is um, 
so we're there with uh, Abu Garcia, Abu Garcia Europe, mm-hmm. and they rented a place near the lake for us so that uh, you know, like the rest of the team could all stay at this house, and they had a chef, an uh, on-call chef. She lived with us. She lived with us, like literally moved in with us. So we'd get off Breakfast, the water. lunch, and dinner. Oh, yeah. Wow. It was incredible. So we'd get off the water or get back from a store visit, and there's these dinners every night, and it's just the best food you've ever ate in your life. No like kidding. multiple Literally. courses. Wow. Literally. Because they do, they do the first course and then the second course and then dessert. Mm-hmm. And so your first course is your pasta or your risotto. It's your, your starches, your carbs. And then your second course is your meat, fish, meat, whatever. Meat. We ate so much. (laughs) And you eat at like 10 o'clock at night. So then you finish eating and then you just climb in bed and you're like, (laughs) ugh. But you kind of get used to it. Like after so many days. What do they do at 5 and 6 o'clock? Still out doing whatever you're doing. They're not at work, right? Uh, no, nah, maybe just hanging out. No, they it's have a whole lot of hanging out. No, yeah. but they they have a way better balance of work and personal life. Uh-huh. Like people, yes. like they have all the outdoor cafes and everything. So you'll see people stop and like grab a beer, you know, at the cafe or whatever, and then you know mosey home. Or in the mornings, you know, it's everyone just grabs like an espresso or a coffee at the cafe, like on your way to work and everyone chats and, you know, grab your newspaper, this, that, the other, and then you head to it's work. Definitely it's different. It's, it's definitely a different vibe, different yeah. lifestyle vibe over there, which I liked. I liked. Yeah. We're like third least, uh, vacationing, uh, workforce on the planet. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, I don't know. It kind of sucks. Yeah. They all start <laughs> with like four weeks vacation. Yeah. We were talking about it. Yeah. yeah, but uh, it's like shut down, it's like two bastards. weeks mm. holiday. Holiday, yeah. yeah. But I did want to say that the um, the best is, when, is that shut down during the time you can have the outboards going on the boat. On the <laughs> I don't go. know if the Italians have it because the Abu Garcia folks that we were with are French, and they were talking about um, oui? that it was holiday. Oui. We are okay. not French. In France, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we. Uh, the bass anglers, though, the angling community there is very, like, um, excited and vibrant. It was unbelievable. It, did remi- it reminded me of Japan, you know, like where what? a lot of things still feel new there, mm-hmm. if, if, if that's a good explanation. Like, I did a couple tackle store visits, and just the energy and the vibe of um, – you know, the energy was incredible. Yeah, you should, yeah, what was it like after you left? After I left, I don't know. Probably sucked. I may, maybe it sucked. But here's the one thing I did want to say. We did a store visit. Uh, not a store visit, but a visit with a store, but not at the store. I was really confused. Huh? So you, yeah, but listen, you got to hear this. So it was. Uh, well, it, to explain that, though, <laughs> the, the biggest stores in Italy like 80% of their sales are web sales. Yeah, they do a lot of web business. They so do a lot like of web so business. So they have storefronts, but that's not where majority of the business yeah. happens. Yeah, so the one store we did was literally the best tackle store I've ever been in. Reminded what? me of a j- Japanese tackle store. Stuff was merchandised just perfect. Dude, I mean, the stuff they had there, so they had stuff from the U.S., stuff from Europe, stuff from Asia, just perfect. And everything from, like, trout fishing to bass fishing to saltwater to match fishing, carp what? fishing, they had it all. And it was unbelievable. What's match fishing? Like uh, like uh, tw- competitive carp fishing uh, or competitive. Uh, uh. They even catch, like, little roach and shit. It's like match fishing. Do they, like do they take their glove off and slap you? Probably. <laughs> I demand satisfaction. No, yeah. but it's the weirdest thing because the rods are like <laughs> 20 feet long. Yeah. Some of the match fishing hey. rods are so are really long. Like they don't even have a reel. Compensating. Yeah, they're but compensating. But yeah, you don't cast them or anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like it just, the line's yeah, it's there. Like so leverage. if you catch a fish, it's like you <laughs> literally have to take the rod apart and bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. It breaks down. But the craziest thing is the rod was like 4,000 euro. What the hell's like that mean? Four grand. Four thousand dollars. U.S. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because it's Four. all carbon fiber. The whole thing yeah. is it's Four light. grand? Four thousand dollars. Our dollars? Yeah. Yes. For a fishing rod? 
for a fishing rod. I mean, that's how that's, out of here. that's how into it they are. Anyway, great store there. The second store was a smaller storefront, and we met at this thing. That how do they afford four thousand dollar rods when they're even I working all they're day? They're no, they're four I weeks a year I off. I mean, Come on. they're into how they it. Doing it. That's how their do you thing. Get that shipped to you from the store, like a, you know, a forty-five <laughs> foot long rod. I like mean, a, you got to remember a lot bed? of a lot the wonder of wonder Jordache are so expensive. Yeah. Well, a yeah. lot of a lot sure. of places in you know in Europe, you don't have the big boat access, right? It's mm. it's more Paul. It's bank fishing. A oh. lot of bank fishing there. Yeah. It's a lot of belly boat fishing there, right? A lot of you know, because they don't have the means to store a 20-foot boat or, you know, a vehicle to pull it. Mm -hmm. So other types to throw of fishing is po are popular, like especially <laughs> this. This is the first. I, th I thought you had been fishing in Italy. Before. Yeah, one other time. Okay. This is my second visit. I got you. Um, but yeah, you won last time, remember? Did I? Yeah, you, you won a damn boat. Remember, Dave? You that oh, was, that no, was that in was Spain. Spain. That was in oh, Spain. Oh, same thing. Uh, same thing. <laughs> but th the... Uh, <laughs> The second visit, and I, I, I want to flush this out with you guys and try to imagine this. So we met at this place. They're like, we're going to meet at the lake. And I was like, oh, we're meeting at the lake. Okay. We pull up. And, and, and listen, as I flush this out, listen, because I want this to become a reality here. Flush I've never out. seen any, anything like this ever. So think about this. Mr. T, think about this. We pull into this parking lot, and we go down. We're starting to go down this hill, and I see this pond. It's basically just the quarry. It's like a little sand quarry lake. But they have built this whole facility around fishing this lake. And as you walk down this, this, this hill, d down the steps, dude, they've got like outdoor seating, like bar areas. They've got a stage with a, with a freaking uh, PA, you know, like a, you know, they can ho house a concert. And all this revolves around fishing fishing this lake and it's they've built this community where people can come and experience fishing let their kids fish or fish themselves have events there and you know it was dog friendly and they had food trucks and like it was amazing hmm. and i was like man i'm like we don't have anything like this in the states you know like uh, uh built around fishing and the story is great because there are these two Italian DJs that, um, you know, like like house DJs, right? You know, yeah. the DJs that are making, like, the coin that liked fishing and decided to reinvest their money into this project and create, like, a safe haven for fishermen. And it's their, like, retirement, you know? They built this whole thing. It's amazing. I'm like, God, we have to do this, yeah. you know, from the standpoint of getting kids fishing or teaching or – I can't hear you, but yeah, Bryce, is, is Pete's mic on? It is. Okay, I can't. The, the text is. Um, now it is. Yeah, the the, te <laughs> the, the text. It's not Texas Fish and Game. Uh, I can't remember their their title because they're all so similar. But they're doing at their their hatchery. Okay. They have a facility to introduce uh, people to fishing, and they yeah. do it all year long. Inviting uh, kids and families in to cool. to teach them how to do it. So they're they're doing something similar, not quite what yeah. you're talking about, yeah. but they're offering, you know, that showcase, you know, completely housed event where you can come in, use their gear, learn how to learn how to do it's it. Very cool, right there. Yeah, Texas Parks and Turtles. Texas Parks and Wildlife. Yeah, this place was awesome. It it it, it like really made me want to create something like that here and like the beer aspect of it was it was mm -hmm. awesome like they had they worked with local breweries and they literally had like beer taps at like three or four different places throughout the facility it was just it was awesome i i took a lot of pictures i'll show you guys when the show's over but it was what's like, their beer like uh it was really good it was really good i ha we had a we had a, we had an ipa it was funny that one italian guy was, was like ipa <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, the IPA. Uh, the IPA. I'm like, yeah, I like that fucking IPA. Give me some more of that IPA. Uh, but the IPA was good, and they had a Belgium that was really good. Yeah. Um, so it was good. But anyway, that that it was an awesome trip. I mean, uh, it was it was short. You know, it was what it was a not about a nine day trip. You know, which we had another <laughs> short. Yeah. Short trip, nine yeah, day no trip. I think it was over ten days. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're all getting to feel like what it's like to be Bill Gates's driver. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Aspen sucks. Wait, is that <laughs> Jake? Are you Bill? Uh, are you Bill Gates' driver? No. Oh, okay. I think I know who he is actually. You do? Yeah. All right. I do. Uh, you do. Uh, 
Real quick, let me remind you. Do we have an Ike Live bag up here? I don't see it anywhere. Is we're stole we're it. doing no, we're an MTV box. Let, let, me know, oh. it, MTV box. let me know if I'm oh. close. Okay. Okay. All right. No. Ah. What? Adam's family. All right. So, nah. Uh, nah. I forgot well, to the beginning of the show, but if you're watching over on Facebook, please like and share the feed. If you do that, you're going to be entering a chance to win a mystery tackle box. And you probably give them a... a maybe we'll give them an elite box, the pro box. But <laughs> we'll give you a box. I tried to we're do the nine... Jake, you got to bring them comments in. They're too good to. I tried to do 902101. All right, Jake, Du-du-du-du. we had some good comments <laughs> coming in on some of the outfits tonight or guesses. Yes, Drunkwood. Yes. Drunkwood. Drunkwood wants to say that without the mask, Dave looks like a gray baked potato. <laughs> 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 I was going more for a retired Rocky, but we'll take that. <laughs> retired Rocky, I like. A yeah. gray baked potato. Yeah. All right. And Pete looks like the scarecrow from Wizard of Oz that went on a Chick fil A bender. <laughs> <laughs> a what bender? Chick Fil A bender. Oh, <laughs> <there you> <laughs> uh, Do we have a bird That's somewhere? Nice. Put a bird on Pete's shoulder, <laughs> like a scarecrow. That's awesome. As he's sitting there, like in his mom's basement, with like her clothesline uh, pins on his nipples, <laughs> <laughs> watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> Degenerate. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but Dave's not putting up with these comments. <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing I wanted to say real quick, last thing about Italy that I wanted to say, and Brian, I know you appreciate this. Dave, you probably appreciate this too. Dude, the history oh, yeah. of everything there and and the the, the, the freaking architecture and, and the yeah. way they garden yeah. is so like, you know, we, we get – we're here in the States and old is a couple hundred years old, you yeah. know, yeah. center to in. Old, you know, and and you get there, thousands, and everywhere you go, yeah. not just in, like in Rome or Florence or yeah. whatever. Everywhere you go, you're just like, holy shit, you know th- these yeah. castles that are, you know, been here a like long you look time. at you look at the placard and it's like yeah. 650 A.D. You know, 11, you know, whatever, and you're like, oh my god. There's no right angles. Everything has <laughs> everything has a beautiful crescendo at the corner of it. Like there's yeah. nothing. Yeah, it it's crazy. Well, that's, I'm thinking of the time you and I tried to get the the cornerstone that was 150 years old. Yeah, off the bank. I think about did. that from time to yeah. time, dude. How monumental that would have been. I I, I do. <laughs> I, like we everyone did. would want that. Yeah, yeah, but there the cornerstones are like you know, Older. 650 uh, yeah. B- yeah. BC. Yeah. You know, but the the history <laughs> is crazy. The history is amazing. Just amazing. To walk Disciples were wa- walking on those rocks. Yeah, that's right. I'm Every, sure. Everywhere you turn. For everyone who lives there or in Europe, they're not impressed. But I, we drive by just like a, a stone wall, and I'm like, oh, how old do you think that wall yeah. is? You know what I mean? The yeah. stone is just like eaten away and slowly like fading and dying mm, and crumbling. Yeah. And I'm like, who, who came by here? Like, what, you know what I mean? I'd get, and yeah. every turn you go around, there's a town up on a hill because uh, they were all built up on the highest hilltops. And they had, you know, 20, 30, 40 foot walls or the cliff faces to protect them. And the stories of, you know, like, oh, well, you know, so and so invaded, then so and so, you know what I mean? And, and they've just changed hands so many times. And like the history is wild. It's absolutely that's amazing. Yeah, that's interesting. That's cool. awesome. Yeah. That Instead of building guys, in a you. valley where, you know, the, the water and the food is, yeah. you know, they what? build where they can be protected. Magnum. No, I was just saying thank you for taking us along to Italy. <laughs> 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 so close as I'll ever get. Yeah. Probably speak for Come more. Come on, Magnum. Me. You live Magnum. in Hawaii. Later. I know, dude. You live yeah, in Hawaii, Hawaii, man. You drive it's around beautiful. in a Ferrari. Yeah, you got <laughs> no, a red Ferrari. It was not. <laughs> what was it? And, and you guys gave me away. Um, it was a well, coyote. We already, we already talked about it. Was it wasn't a Ferrari? No. Oh, I don't I, think so. I thought I, it was a kit car. Uh, wasn't it a kit? Uh, I don't know, bro. I, I, I I envisioned a Ferrari. Uh, I think it was something it called was Coyote. Or something. Oh, oh really? This is I think. This might be Google okay. But I know who would know. And Freddy Krueger absolutely talked, Pete. <laughs> he did talk. He did talk. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Man, he was like, like, yeah, he said rhymes. My nightmare. Oh, yeah, he absolutely uh, said it stuff. It was a Ferrari. Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was it? I, I never saw any of the movies. Not really. What? You're not a horror buff. No, I'm. Sc- I get scared. I never watched this. What? Picture. I avoid. You're like Beck. Beck avoids it too. I avoid those movies. You should. I my whole life. Yep. Really? What? Yep. Never. You never, never saw watched. The Exorcist. Just never. Come on. Never, ever. Just what? never. <laughs> just I mean, never. Like I saw clips and you see clips. Like it was just come never on. times. Like I. <laughs> if I'm on. If I'm on. The, <laughs> if I'm on the remote and and like I I'm I can't get on. it off fast enough. Yeah, like I just can't. But get why? It off let, me, let me let me get let me tell why though. 
legit. I get uncomfortable and scared. Yeah. Like I'm by myself. Somebody's hiding under my stairs. Yeah, I but mean, I think I, Pat, you know, you're, you're I the same. Don't like it. You're the same. Though. I you don't, don't like it. Come on, don't let Pete the, keep talking. This no, but great. the funny <laughs> thing is, the funny I'll thing is, there's off, the Mike. opposite. The opposite too, which is, I like, I like. We always like scary movies. Like back I, in the day, I, I'm, I'm out on them. Are you out on them now? I'm out. I like scary movies. It gets adrenaline rush. You know, that's what I like about it. You like them, Paul? I like. I love them. Yeah, of course. Movies gives you an adrenaline rush. Yeah. Nah. Jump scares. I like being too much negativity. I yeah. have to be honest. It's just movie. There's nope. enough scary stuff in this world. Yeah, that just watch your the news. mind. Yeah, mm-hmm. just watch yeah. the news, and you yeah. can be scared to walk out your front door. Yeah, how about something uplifting? So, like, I don't mm-hmm. need another thing to be like, sh- should I be scared of that? Should <laughs> should I be, oh yeah. shit! Never even thought about that. Yeah, you know real what life's I mean? Like, I don't. But I, but I do this. like a different kind of scare. Uh oh. Like the the troll the motor cords. N- that. Wait, wait. <laughs> is the camera on? Yes. Oh, like like that kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's still on that, me. Yes. <laughs> and like the bush, the bush man. You seen him on social? The guy that dresses up as a bush. Yeah. And then he sits in a pot in like oh, yeah. bass six bass flags. Yeah. It's that bush. Bass I'm a bush. And no, he like he'll just. People will walk by and he'll just move, yeah. and, and the girls will scream. <laughs> I'm a and bush. Run I'm a bush. He, you know that so guy. So this is what you're scared of too? No, I like watching that. Oh, you no, like I'm that? No, I'm into that kind of scared, like where you, you know, you hide behind. Like I scare my son every day. You know, like <laughs> in the bush. You know, I hide behind a corner and <laughs> he comes time? down, and I, I, I gotta scare him. I, ha- I love scaring people, <laughs> but I hate, I hate those, mur- I hate those gory blood. Paul, kind of like when you movies. go in the closet where, where there's a symbol with someone wearing a dress, and they're all like, ah. When they walk in and you're in there. What? <laughs> 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 what? The hell did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's Just going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's messing with me and I don't, I don't even get the punchline. <laughs> oh That's how it is, huh? It's okay. The rest of us did. Yeah. Uh. Jake, who are you? No. Was Dave right? No. Did anyone guess it? No. Nobody it's not, no, we're not, 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 we, it's not That's what I thought. Maybe give us, was, can you give us no. a clue before yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer? Jeffrey Scooby Doo. Where everybody knows your name. No. Cheers. Cheers. But who the hell are you on Cheers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. I know. I know. I know. Stop. Said <laughs> that black hair. What? What? No. You're you the didn't? you're the intern that worked for the uh, channel that's re-airing it. Yes. <laughs> Dude, you look like you're getting ready to narrate a bar mitzvah, and you think we're supposed to think you're uh, <laughs> on Cheers? They sell six wigs of Spirit like Halloween. You're about to, yeah, like you're about to MC. I narrate. The irony of it is no one knows his name. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't I mean, it's not Ted Dance. Did Ted Dance walk around in a flannel shirt? Yeah. He did? For like half the episodes, it was either that or a sweater. I did research on this. Oh, yeah. Lord. And I failed, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. I, I or, saw the, the flannel with the three-quarter roll. He had the brown hair. This is the only brown wig I could find that had hair longer than mine. Oh, I'm like, my dark God. Like, I take what I can get. You know what it is? I was yeah. going to get a towel over let, my shoulder. Let me, let me, let me say this. And I this think it's like three. Hey, it looks like he's ready to like file a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Ted Danson, even back then, was a little weathered and beat up. What's throwing us off here is Jake's got a baby yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a hung, young, handsome yeah. kid with brown hair. Right. <laughs> so he's throwing us off, the baby face. Yeah, I don't know. That's a fail, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fail, buddy. Or a win. A for effort. Or right. a win. But did you yeah. He's the only guy that didn't anyone? get guests. Did true. you say, here's my costume to anyone? No, absolutely not. This was like y- last night this happened. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, I look more like Don Johnson in Miami Vice right now than he looks like Ted <laughs> Danson in Cheers, you dude. You know what? You know what? <laughs> so guess who has to dress as mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving? Giving. Jake. <laughs> Jake, you're mashed potatoes. Jake uh, needs to dress as mashed potatoes. Yes. And Brian, you need to dress I'm like happy. that every day yeah, with your yes. mustache falling off. I am tired of that mustache. <laughs> yeah. I you tell you, the, the spirit glue. That would, the, it threw me off because it, it's an Andy Reid mustache. Like Magnum's mustache was different. Yeah, but the Hawaiian know? shirt. That the didn't whole get you. thing was I, Magnum I didn't P.I. Get it. I didn't get it until Becky said something, but I get it now. What's this? That's your T-shirt. You want to hold it up for the camera? <laughs> says, everybody. The other one. Turn around so the camera can see. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Pretend. <laughs> 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 That's, That's great. Cool. Where'd that come from? I, I, I promised Becky that I would get Pete a mashed potatoes costume. <laughs> 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 there it goes. And it was it wouldn't make it in time, but 
<laughs> okay. That shirt did. All right. That's very nice. Uh, <laughs> the other thing I want to <laughs> I, like, I like that a lot better. <laughs> um, <laughs> wrapping up the Italy thing. Yeah, probably. Oh, I, I just I did want to wrap this up real quick. I did want to give a shout out to uh, the guy that I fished with. The guy I spent a lot of time with, Alessandro. Dude, coolest cat in the world. Uh, shout out to Alessandro. Uh, he is the uh, I'm trying to think what's a good analogy for uh, somebody in the states you know he Eric the, like jobless no he's a, <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's the coolest cat in all of Italy yeah he's the guy that's sort of making bass fishing cool and he's a hell of a fisherman the interesting thing when I got there fishing wise he's Paul, the Mike Iaconelli of bass fishing in Italy uh, even cooler he DJs, he's way cooler than me he guides I mean oh wow yeah, he's yeah. way cooler than yeah. me lots of days off a lot of days off, but right. uh, the the interesting thing about the fishing styles there, Paul, and this is this you'll you'll get a kick out of this is that finesse fishing dominates there. Mm. Finesse fishing dominates, especially in that lake, Lake Bolsane. It's super clear, weedy, like four or six pound test, little baits, and it was interesting because that's you know his style is finesse and slow, like it it's so interesting to see these style differences. So. We'd go to like uh let's let's say like a weed patch, right? And he'd pull up and be like two football fields away and come off pad <laughs> and start idling in. You know, then he'd get a football field away and then drop the trolling motor and ease oh, on it. And I'm like and, and I'm oh, like <laughs> holding on to the seat, like uh, uh, like shaking Big up. time finesse, huh? Finesse, like not turn his depth finders on, Brian. You know uh, all this from from that. Keith and like very conscious of quiet and light and small and slow. Like uh, he was explaining to me, like top water fishing, finesse fishing. He's like, you know, like I was watching him fish top water, and dude, it was like, it was like it hits. He's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, <laughs> <laughs> and like I'm watching the ripples just go. And now I'm like, I'm in like 10 seconds. Wait. Stop it. Wait. Wait. How, are you, how are you surviving that? Very man? hard. I Very bet. hard. Oh, my God. You, uh, you almost killed McGraw because he pulled like an, uh, 50 yards, got I off pad 50 yards too I early. I wanted one to time. kill. I wanted to kill. Well, but la la last one, Paul. If we're talking about finesse for Paul. That's wearing a nurse's uh, costume at a at a pediatric unit. <laughs> 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 Last one. Oh, whatever. But this is oh not. So uh, anyway, <laughs> so so totally different styles. Uh, uh, slow, quiet. You know, like all this. And I get there, and I'm the opposite. Uh -huh. No kidding. And the opposite's working. And they he had never seen it before. Wow. wow. I'm dropping bombs on him. One, one and a half, two ounce tungsten weights, dropping bombs on them. Two ounce. Making these fish react, you know. Yep. Ripping a big chatter bait. Wow. You know, just totally opposite. It was cool that we weren't That you were catching them and he wasn't. Yeah. We both caught them. <laughs> we I'm surprised you were happy about it. So <laughs> now you get to go ruin fishing for Italy like you yeah. did South Jersey. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't the wait. Best, here's the best Can't part. Can't wait. So <laughs> Alessandro spoke English. He spoke English. Yeah. You know, it was good it was it's good. Choppier, but you could understand everything that he was saying. So he unfortunately had to speak English to Mike's zero Italian. Yeah. Um but he would come home and at dinner tell us he's like fishing with Mike is like fishing with children. <laughs> 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 and he's trying to explain that Mike's like all over the boat oh, yeah. and the tackles everywhere oh, yeah. and he's yeah. like he was like showing pictures. He's like, the boat is destroyed. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. He's like, what? What does he do? And I'm like, I don't know. So he yeah. fishes. But so it was it, it works. It was good. I did come back with a, uh, you know, I think when you when you fish with different people that have different styles, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And definitely there were things he did that I, I I said, man, I should do more of this in certain situations. You know, and not be so well, high strung and, yeah. and so quick to leave or. You know, in and out, yeah. you know, just settling down. And I saw the strength of that. It was yeah. cool to see it, you know. A little, little influence. That yeah. That might Not happen. a chance. Yeah. I yeah. think so. I think we hear this every week. I think every a month. Oh, of the places you guys been with people speaking broken English, who has the coolest sounding broken English? Broken. Man, Dave. I don't know. The f uh, I, I'd say the French are pretty. pretty I, like the fr I like the French accent. Louisiana. Louisiana? 
Yeah. Well, yeah, it's we, it's French. funny because they all have a very distinct way because I, we don't realize it because of the way that we speak, but there's a um, rhythm to different languages. And so when they s- speak in their rhythm, but in your language, yeah. it's kind of funny because yeah. like the inflections are different and, and everything. I had a Frenchman, honestly, and uh, uh, like genuinely, accidentally insult Mel. It was hilarious. So we're up, we're up in the mountains, and the, we ask him to take a picture of us. French Canadian. And she hands him the camera, and they kind of pass each other. No, like legit French. Oh yeah. And he looks at her. He takes the camera, and he's like, "You Americans, you're all so huge." <laughs> <laughs> <What the? laughs> Not that a woman wants to hear, like, hey, you yeah. gigantic bitch, get out of my way so I can take your picture. You know, I don't know. You're all so huge. <laughs> he said you're all so huge, huge, but he said it to her. <laughs> oh, my God. It was amazing, dude. Huge. You are American. Huge. We knew instantly what that meant. We're like, oh, my God. He just, you know, like, yeah, that just happened, yeah. dude. But here, this <laughs> is say, like, tall, leggy. This you is know. a sad fact about Americans, though, and, and, like, why we're dumb Americans. You cannot go to any other country. They'll all, they all speak uh, enough English yeah. to communicate. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what happens when you're that's the king. That's what you do. Yeah, and like dumb <laughs> Americans. Nope, that's what happens when you dumb. have the Second Amendment. Well, we don't maybe. need to worry about speaking their language. Come <laughs> here. <laughs> we're guns and people. No. Back to back World yeah. War champs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the English language does not come from the United States. You sure. do realize that, like comes from jolly England, the the British <laughs> and much of the so Netherlands and so many countries. I mean, right. they speak. I English. disagree. No one from Westminster ever said "you guys." <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, just I bet you they do say "y'all" though over there. No. Uh, good. No, and you know what else they don't say? Fill your off your heels. Right. <laughs> but Jay Kumar does. That? What was that again, he Pete? Does. Pete, uh. just never. Just never. Just yeah. what, what was what did you say about haunted movies? Yeah, I watched them just, right. <laughs> just now. Right. Right, I'm adding that, dude. Right, let's do this. I'm adding you know, that to the repertoire. We're very, very excited to have Jay on. Why, why don't we do this, though? Okay. Why don't we just take a real quick break, like uh, super short. Super short. Let's take one little quick break, and we come Teensy back. tiny. We'll come right back with Jay. Uh, this has been a fun show. It's our Halloween special. Uh, hang in there with us. When we come back, Jay Kumar yes. joins us live on the show. Four and a half inch drop shot worm, Bama Bug. Finesse jig, PB and J, give me something hard. Hey, KVD here. Now, I didn't always know this much about fishing. Three aught, no, four aught EWG worm hook. In fact, there was a time when I couldn't tell the difference between a jerk bait and a stick bait. But then I signed up for Mystery Tackle Box, the original monthly tackle subscription. And now I know more about fishing than I do about calculus. And he knows a lot about Calculus. Plus, I get amazing extras, like free fishing magazines. October 2016, featured article, Four Places to Throw a Frog. Exclusive decals, <coughs> zombie bass. And how-to videos for all the great baits I receive. How to tune a crankbait. Is that underwater footage I smell? I got goosebumps. So if you're looking to develop enhanced fishing abilities like me, or you just like getting new tackle every month, Go to mysterytacklebox.com and get your box today. Ooh, live minnows. Is it lunchtime already? Nature's candy. Oh. At Founders Brewing, we asked ourselves, what if we brewed a beer perfect for any occasion? A beer that makes a weekday feel more like the weekend. And the weekend feel more like an adventure. What if we brewed a beer that brought us together and allowed us to be ourselves? A beer that is just as much of a companion as it is a reward at the end of the journey. What if we explored the unknown together and found a new way? What if we celebrated taste and flavor and life's simple pleasures? And what if we brewed a beer that could go where you go without slowing you down? What if? Founders All Day IPA. 
Low ABV and full flavor that goes where you go. Chase your what if. All right, Brian, um, Torquedo today. We've got the Ike Live Tiny Boat out. I want to tell you, this is not just for electric only reservoirs. It's for other things as well. Today is a great example. Where are we? What are we going to take this thing through today? The Upper Susquehanna. Upper Susquehanna River. That's right. Current, rock, Lots nasty bottom, yep. and we're going to use Torquedo. Everybody else running jet drives. We've got the rock guard on the Torquedo. We're going to some small spots. Yeah. Get in there. We're gonna make it happen. There you go. Let's go. Shallow water, Beep. speed, strength, power. Come on. Let's Consistency. Go. Can you? Yep. Can you it, it's can gonna you? be like that tonight. Gonna be one of them days. Yeah, let me hit the right thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday night. Uh, I know we are. You're watching a brand new Ike Live show. It's the Halloween special. Uh, Mr. T, how you doing, man? What's uh, going on? I'm good. I mean, I'm kind of no longer Mr. T. Well, you're still Mr. T. You got the sweats on and all, all right. that. Yeah. Just kind of like what Rocky wore, though. It could you could be Rocky or well they what what Rocky was Mr. T and Rocky in Rocky he was in the third Rocky the third Rocky yes okay was that before or after the Russian that was before the Russian before the Russian he insulted Apollo Creed in the ring called him a washed up has been like, get, out my, <laughs> get out my face you yeah know? He, oh that's right he killed yeah. Mickey in a squabble out front that's right Mickey had Mick. a heart attack Mick had a heart attack and that's when Rocky learned how to have some soul wow remember in the mirror he was wearing Uncle short Mick. shorts running on the beach oh yeah. That's right. Man, what a good series, the whole oh, Rocky I series. I mean, they're all amazing. Uh, speaking of that, Pete, the, uh, I noticed you put the Phillies cap on. We've got some Philly sports teams doing really good right okay, now. We've, buddy, right, hey. we, got, <laughs> we got the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles doing Guys good. We got the Phillies home. doing okay, right? Brian, are you me tooing Becky right Wait, in front of I, Mike? I can't yes. hear. I can't hear. Uh, I can't hear Pete. What you say? <laughs> They're uh, tied. The Phillies are tied with the Houston Astros. It's tied one to one. They're coming home to Philly, where we have the mega home field advantage for ooh. the next three games. Yeah. It starts tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. So it's it's a lot of fun. Eagles undefeated. Oh my gosh, seven and zero. When have we ever seen? Even with the Phillies, just six inches, right, on that home run. Yeah. It could you know could have been a little bit of a little bit of a different it, game. Their their offense is always there. It you can always count on it, and it's going to explode. Uh, the Astros, on paper, way better team. They're supposed to win. Phillies only won 80 games this year. Uh, they're like the Cinderella story. But do you think the Phillies got lucky first game? Because they kind of were getting clapped, right, like they were oh, last five night. Five zip, man. That's what I'm saying. Five and then, zip, and then like. I don't, I, you know, I, dude, they get. I'm proud of them because they got punched in the face, just like Rocky. Yeah, pay. Got knocked down to the canvas and got up. But that's happened to them a lot. In in the games, they yeah. they play well from behind. Yeah, that's that's character, man. Dirty and scrappy. Yeah, yeah. Paul, I can tell you this: if the Philadelphia uh, Phillies win, I can promise you there will be a Phils win tattoo on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, all these years later, we got good to know, Mike. Yes. What we should do is we should we should sing that song, that uh, dancing alone. I don't even know the song, but uh, dancing alone. Yeah, they they stay they, when they're celebrating. What's that? Paul's walkout music. That every fight he's ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dave. Pipe down over there. Pipe down. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But oh my the God. the Phillies sing it, man. The the players all they dance they 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 love this song. And you saw some of the celebrations like at Xfinity Live or all these Philly Is places. Climbing the poles like, again. Well, yeah. they're, they're all singing a cappella, man. The whole, like the whole, they shut down the DJ, they shut down everything, and they're celebrating, yeah. uh, you know, singing the song. So. Well, I, I saw everywhere. that they, they greased the poles up, and yes, they, they still were climbing they the poles. They still were climbing the poles. Yeah. I would. I actually hope the Phils win so I can, I, I would love to take uh, Vegas and Stella just, yeah. maybe not like even an active part of the parade, but just to see the, Hoopla. Why don't you just rent a helicopter sure. and fly over it? <laughs> 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 Maybe I should. This is what the commoners look like, Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the commoners. Let them eat cake. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cake, 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 cake. We'll be restricting them on our lake yeah. real soon. Yeah, restrict them. Keep them out of this lake, especially now that there's more smallmouth in here. Uh, let yes. me uh, let Sounds me good. remind you, if you're watching uh, over on Facebook, do me a favor, like and share the feed. If you do that, you're going to be entered a chance to win a mystery yes. tackle box. Uh, normally, we give the Ike Live gift bag, but I don't know. They're all gone or... <laughs> We're doing <laughs> or whatever. Doing selfies. Oh, yeah, we we're doing selfies on the couch. Uh, did 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 we say that you guys like flew in an hour ago from Italy? We did. We did say that. We did. We know we did. But uh, so we're all. Everybody knows. We are it. messed up. I'm messed up. Yeah. Like the jet lag thing. It took me. Great story, Mike. Jay Kumar's ready to go. Okay, real quick. <laughs> it took me three days to get into the rhythm of that sleep pattern yeah so it sure. probably will take me another three now that we're jay kumar it's 3 30 a.m it's 3 30 a.m we've been up since <laughs> that's true all right i don't want to hesitate any longer um i want to get <laughs> right i want to get right yes, to it our Deep guest outside, tonight yes, and do. this and this is a special show to have him on because halloween special is always a good one for us a uh, guy i've known for a long time from the beginning of my career until now a uh, really big influence in the sport of fishing and a really good guy. Plus, he's from Jersey, Jersey which, which is just bonus points. Jay Kumar, everyone, joining us on the show once again. How you doing, Jay? Good. How's everybody doing? And by the way, Mike, I do think you should do that beer fishing park because you need more to do, dude. I do. <laughs> I, I need more and Becky needs more. Yeah. She needs right. another job, too. Yeah. We all need more jobs. Don't but have enough. <laughs> We definitely don't have you enough. You would ruin Italy if you went over there with this attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything maybe. Everything cool they got going on. You guys I know. They, they would assassinate you like Kennedy, making them work more than friggin' two days a week. I know. <laughs> They'd kill you. I know. Well, here's here's the thing. Two, two comments real quick, Jay. First one is, why do you sound better audio-wise than anyone here live in studio? You sound good. What, what are, you, are you using a super mic? What do you have there? I think your mics were made by Captain Crunch, it sounds like. <laughs> oh, damn. Does it sound like that? Damn. It does. You got to send me a, it does. DM All right. it, and this, well, And the well, second part. Dude, Kumar level, has that man, voice, level. too. His well, he voice does have a great voice. Is, yeah. is great we have, have a radio voice. voice. Yeah. You always had a radio voice, which is good. But the second thing is, Jay, who were you tonight? Like, we had a hard time hmm. figuring out Jake. <laughs> we couldn't really figure out who he was. Who were you dressed as tonight for Halloween? Who do you who do you know? Yes, that loves bass fishing, and looks for this. Oh. What do you think? Any guesses, guys? Frozen. Guys, Linder? Could it be Linder? Troy Linder? You look like Troy Linder. Pete, guesses? <laughs> no. Well, who did Brian try to hook up to have the conversation? Oh, that was Jay that, that wanted to talk Sasquatch. <laughs> just can't let him keep going. So are, are you just be you're so you're you're yourself? Oh you're yourself. Oh my god, please put a timestamp on that. Timestamp this. So oh god, Peter. Man, it's it's three thirty for you guys, but it's five AM for Pete. He's been up all night. <laughs> He's been partying hey. too many booy booyah balls. Jay, give him a break. He's been up since noon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my hey, God! You were, you were the only two that I know that chase Sasquatch. Sorry, it took me a little while to Don get Barone there. Don Barone loves the Sasquatch. Don does love Sasquatch. John, that's true. Right. Don yeah. Barone. I was that's just true. telling people about your book, Jay, and that's the cover of it behind him right there, Paul. It is. Uh, I like it. it. Yeah, the the book awesome. from 17 years ago. Great book. <laughs> wow. You got a smallmouth on your hat? Uh yes. All the best fish are smallmouth. I don't know if you knew that. I'd agree with that. Hey, you could see that. I can, I, but I can't ID him. Wow. So spe uh, yeah, speaking of smallmouth. I think he fakes it. He can uh, tell that that's a smallmouth. I think he's faking it. He might be. I mean, I can see distance. I, I got to have reading glasses. Though. So speak <laughs> speaking of smallmouth, the Italian anglers want desperately want smallmouth. And there were seriously conversations going on, Jay. And I just, I'll say this because I'm not going to do it. So I'll just go ahead and say it. There were serious conversations going on on how... I could get smallmouth to those guys. Oh, you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like investigating ways to, and I'm like, man, I, that's, that's like heavily illegal. You, like, got, you better stay off my wall. 
<laughs> at least, You're walled in Susquehanna? At least half of my wall fish yeah, but, live out here in Lake Ash. I know, but what if what if what if you helped populate Italy with smallmouth and you've created a whole new generation of anglers? Think about the pr- You could pride. be like that fertility doctor that do was that. using the, his own The fear that an entire government would hate they would Pete. Put, he would never. They would never. come over here and put me in jail. They would find See? a way. Pete, neither one of you are Brittany Griner. You can't shoot a basketball. You'll get locked up and no one will care here. Don't <laughs> care. <laughs> no one will care. Jay, if you were to ship smallmouth to Italy, I'm not saying you, you will, <laughs> but if you were to do it, how would you go about doing it? Me? Yeah. Dude, I would just get on, what is that Chinese website, Alibaba or whatever? They got like everything that's ever been made yeah, in the history so of man and yeah. just order it. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Even better. Get you, it from the China. That's where everything comes from. Everything bad comes from China, so get right. it from China. You the Chess King yeah. probably makes a smallmouth knockoff. They probably make a smallmouth. The bass will come with a Chinese prisoner just inside yeah. the crate you holding just, it for you. Just, you just got to get one of those stocking planes, and you just load it up Spray with smallmouth, yeah. and you oh, fly over to yeah. Italy, and you rotate that big tank, yeah. and it'll dump all them. Shoot that, it out. That's how you do it. Happy wow. chemtrails. Wow. Hmm. Uh, I, I I think that might be a way to How do it. How did largemouth get there? Largemouth got there uh, <gasps> World World War II uh, through the through the uh, military bases. Um, trivia Alice, question. Yeah, mm. yeah, uh, w- could have been a trivia question. It is, it's going to be. It's going to be. Oh, oh the, the year. Oh, the year. The okay, year. I, w- I won't say anything more. Yeah. Jay, what is the Italian Sasquatch called? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Is there one? I think I so. Have, I don't have any idea about that one, man. Sasquini. Well, I, I got to know. Sasquini. Sasquinucci. You got to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the howl is like, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing over there? Oh, we'll go over here. Instead of throwing rocks, I'll throw meatballs at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay. Uh, yeah. I, Pete, I, you have? Well, I got to know. I mean, there's two. Uh, what other bass fisherman uh, thinks that squ- Sasquatch is real and he's fake? Oh, dude, <laughs> well, bass thinks he's fake, but there's plenty of guys that believe in it, right, Jay? Yeah, there's a lot of guys, and and a couple guys have Cryptids. seen one allegedly. I I won't tell their names right here, but I'll put one out there right now. Greg De Palma saw one. one, Jay. Greg De Palma saw one down in uh down in Palatka. In Palatka. Come on, wow, really? Oh yeah, you dude. never mentioned that. I'm gonna. I'm it's gonna on call his Insta- It was on his Instagram that. feed, dude. Wow, from really? last year. Okay. What the hell are you doing on Instagram? I well before I got off before I realized you, <laughs> son of a, you sneaking around. No, no, this is this is last year. Around behind our back. This was last year. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we, we <laughs> just, we there's just a lot. Not Jake. gonna know who, Greg. who Jay's costume is. I'll, I'll put oh. the guys out there because I don't have journalistic integrity like Jay has. <laughs> I, think, I, think Jay's, I think Jay's just Jay. <laughs> yeah, just uh, Jay's Jay. rumors and yeah, Jay's Jay. like the news. That yeah. De Palma's a believer. L- Luke Duncan's a believer. Yeah. Uh, Greg Hackney's a believer. Jay, correct me if I'm wrong with your journalistic uh, superiority over me. Uh, that's not true, first of all. Second of all, I don't know about Duncan. The other two, I'll, I'll mum. I'll zip my lips on. All right. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, the, the, the Dun- wor- Duncan posted something that was pretty pretty amazing. Yeah, well, the, here's the thing. With the technology that we have nowadays, with especially with, you got to remember, almost all these bass guys also hunt, right? Mm. So they got trail cams up nonstop. So... When you get that footage back, and you're looking at it on your phone, a lot of them connect right with your phone. You know, you're seeing stuff now. You know, it's like there's the proof. You know, and there are some of the guys that have images on their phone, and it's hard to say. You know, <laughs> it's not a deer. It's yeah. not you know something else. You it's know, watched. so that's all I got to say about that. What about the UFOs? What about them? What did, did, did Jay? Do you have an opinion on that? There's like an un crazy number of ufos being reported recently recently like right now right like they're seeing lights they're seeing yeah. jay, are, jay are you aware of this uh somewhat yeah well, <laughs> they were the government was supposed to have a report out on it i thought they copped to it already they well, were supposed, uh, like last year let's hear what jay says Go ahead, yes. Okay. Well, okay. first of all, definitely trust the government, whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. Forget it. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Whatever that- they say, they know. I mean, listen, I, I was an actual journalist in Washington, D.C. for years. Okay. And like 
the stuff I saw just going to social gatherings with senators and all this other stuff. It is so fake. It is so fake. Even the people that you see on TV that are way high up there, they don't even know what's going on. They don't know what's going on, let alone the government guys who get on there and the media guys who interview them. It's just a show. It's a show. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Well, I tell you this. Well, I that think was amazing, Jay. I, that was that was that was everything right there. It Thank was. You. I think a lot of the UFO recent Love UFO it. sightings, a lot of the stuff is because of the thing in Switzerland, the uh, the atom thing. The Dave? hydrogen collider. Hydrogen collider. Hydron collider. Hydron yeah. collider. Hadron. Every Can we? Can, Rerun. To, to big not, big not big confuse the viewers who are sitting here going. <laughs> Trying to learn how to catch how this ass. Right. <laughs> But listen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But to Mike's point about the hunting and seeing things, I think the reason that you're seeing more UFOs is everyone has one of these now. Everyone has a phone. And everyone yeah. has like, like the live on their on their photo and yeah. you can slow things down. So mm-hmm. I think there's stuff that's getting caught because – the naked eye didn't see it before yeah. or even just a regular old just yeah. shot and didn't see it. I and think I you're catching a lot. I agree, stuff. but the, the pilots are reporting UFOs. They've and been hopefully they're not stuff. doing it on their phones, but um, they're they're reporting them at an uh, alarming rate. Like, wow. but they so can't ID it as a military thing yet. Yeah. Um, so and I haven't heard anything that explains it yet. Pete, huh. there's, a famous, there's a famous band called the Foo Fighters. Which are uh-huh. named after what our pilots used to call UFOs in World War II. They called them Foo Fighters, the UFOs. Oh, I didn't know that. They had a name for that. That's what the band was named after. I didn't oh, know that uh, either. That's cool. Huh. I had no idea. I had no idea. Yeah, they called them Foo Fighters, dude. Wow. All right. Okay. They uh, win. Uh, hmm? All right. Like a tackle pack or something. Yeah, you win some. <laughs> Snackle bag. Uh, Jay, I've got we've got a little short list of items we have to go over with you. Uh, you know, back from the, your days with Bass Fan to now. Uh, with Bass Blaster, you do a great job yes. of really hitting all the hot topics. So we've got some topics for you tonight. And this is a list provided by the staff here at Ike Live. <laughs> the first one, I want to get this one out of so the way sorry. because this one has been beat to death. But let, let's get this one out of the way quick and then we can get on to the good ones. The walleye cheating scandal has taken the world by storm in the last uh, last month. And I hate I hate it because... It's the most press we've gotten for fishing in a long time. Ever. Ever. And it's for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, not only that. Yeah. But Pete would have probably been the biggest, most seen fishing <laughs> related, freshwater fishing Had related. Had it not, he killed Pete's fall. The yeah. They, killed that me. killed Pete's fall. They, they took, they, they single handedly Again, killed. Pete. Yes. Yeah, the wall I did Can't to your fall, what, what Pelosi's husband did to Fetterman's debate <laughs> for the political <laughs> insiders. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing, Jay. That was for you. Was Sorry, there, dude. Was there a question for Jay? <laughs> there was a question for Jay. There was a question. Jay, get, give us your feedback on, on this. Yeah, give us your feedback on the whole walleye cheating scandal. And Pete. All right, here's my, here's my explanation for that. It's, it's an analogy. So, you know, in the summer in New York City, every night you can go to the Bronx, you can go to Queens, whatever. You know, there's pickup hoops games. You're aware of that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but Paul, our very own Paul plays in most of them. That's right. Yeah. So if <laughs> if cheating went down at one of these pickup hoops games, would the NBA be affected? Would would that be a black eye for pro basketball? Right. It's a good analogy. Yeah. yeah. There'd be yellow tape too. Yellow tape. <laughs> oh, Crime scene, know. dude. There'd be somebody beat down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, right. you, but but if you're those two guys, you got to be scared right now. Jay wasn't I mean, finished. not just Jay the, wasn't finished. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm. I, it's 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 a joke, man. I don't think it's a big deal at all. They the guys seem to have screwed up. Hmm. It looks like they were caught red-handed. So moving on, it's it's walleye fishing, man. It's <laughs> it's it's there like putting rocks in fish. I mean, it's so basic. Go back fifty years and back. Fishermen were cheating better than that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's that crazy. You have all the cheating methods. I don't, I don't see the big deal at all. It's pretty honestly. basic. Yeah. I love well, North Jersey logic. It's different than I know. Yeah. I know. The thing, the, <laughs> the, the, the thing that bugs me about it, though, is not 
the cheating itself, but how much press it's gotten and, and how, you know, how much exposure. Because even in Italy, you know, like the guy that I fished with, he's like, knew about it, you know? You know, across across the pond, knew about well, it. Well, dude, it's because they had a camera over top of a bunch of fish spitting out Fabergé eggs all over the place, <laughs> dude. Like, what do you think? <laughs> like, the evidence was right there. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, think about, like, uh, the perspective. How many more people are, like, becoming aware that man, what, fishing tournaments? Like, they've yeah. never heard them before. There's a there's a giant population that are like, wow, that, that sounds cool. All I got to do is catch some fish and stuff, stuff but, some weights in them. Yeah. And I could, I'm being sarcastic, but yeah. it's, it's bringing in attention a lot. There's, there's a ten. Also we've the learned, money Come aspect. on, Mike, we've learned from day one. There's no such thing as bad publicity. <laughs> yeah. I Pete, guess so. Pete, I had an easier time trying to explain Q to you than I do trying to explain Mike's empire to people that don't know nothing about fishing. Do <laughs> <laughs> people have no idea, man. But here's, I, 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 I want to. We just tell people, we, we just tell people we, we're in marketing. Yeah. We're in marketing. <laughs> but, but, Jay, I want to I get back to this, which is why did it take something like this to bring national attention to fishing? And, like, I, I really want to pin put my – point the finger at like the big organizations right like BASS MLF like why aren't they spending the money why aren't they you know especially bass like bass is I I'll, I fish for bass so I I'll target them more than MLF why aren't they spending the money to get the y you know to hire an agency to get the articles to get the the you know there's big things happening MLF in the sport hired an agency right at when right when they went off and but why they came up with some really bad ideas? I know, but what? But why? Why? You know what I mean? Like the golden, uh, some of the golden eras of bass fishing, you saw national media picking up on positive bass fishing stories, positive fishing stories. Okay, why but isn't that going on anymore? Because it wasn't a positive story. Because you yelled at a dog. I I did yell at a dog <laughs> one time. No, I but did. but like that that story went viral, but it wasn't yeah. a positive story. Right. <laughs> the no, light but I think what positive. Mike is saying for a huge company like bass or mlf why aren't they hiring a mainstream pr company uh, well, to I try mean, to get I mean, press, a if positive it, press for fishing nobody cares it's about positive they want to see they want to see guys about to beat somebody jay, up do, you agree, jay, do you agree jay do you agree with this do you agree with Sorry. any of this do you think what what what, what are you thinking here no what i'm what i'm thinking is honestly the fishing community and fishing media are the only ones keeping this stupid thing alive in yeah. my opinion yeah and, and the and the mass media that is a bunch of negative you know clickbait anything you want to throw in there other than actual worth your time to consume their media in my opinion and i'm saying that as a member of the media who was in semi-mass media for a while i mean uh we gotta get back to that i think we're just I, th I think all these guys who are trying to get views on, you know, YouTube or Facebook or whatever, are keeping this mess alive and just let it go, man. Yeah. I mean, it's, oh. it's like anything else. When, when a fisherman, a pro fisherman, bass fisherman gets a uh, wrist slap or whatever for cheating so-called in a minor way, not like this, you know, where they fish an off limits area or whatever, the internet erupts for, you know, five days and then everybody forgets about it. Yeah. And, I think that's the way this will finally go once we all shut up about it. You know, no offense. Yeah. And until they get I'm, off. Well, I, I well they they pled not guilty. That's the latest <laughs> piece on it. Which how? Right. What's the theory there? Like, do you, how how could you plead not guilty? Well, if you have a if you have a if you're lawyered up in the right way, yeah, you could yeah. probably find a loophole. Well, in well, whatever document they signed for that organization, I'm sure. There's probably a loophole mm. to be found. Dave? And I, I heard I, they're countersuing the, the organization Stop. and the well, media. There you go. Always you plead know. not guilty. So it's this simple. If I were their lawyer, I would plead not guilty too. The burden of proof, the prosecution has to prove beyond – they have to prove overwhelmingly and beyond a reasonable doubt that you committed the crime. That they put that Did anyone see fish. the weights in their mouth? If I brought Good you, point. But, Mike, if I brought you on a stand, if I brought you on a stand, if I brought any of you on a stand, Jay, if I brought you on a stand, have you ever caught a bass that had, uh, I don't know, say a fishing leader coming out of its anus? You did. All of That's us have caught. 
I don't. Did I don't you say think anus? So, dude. You've never. You guys never caught a fish shitting out a half of a liter or oh, yeah. a hook with an of anus. Well, I'm just it's, saying. I got a better story. No, for but hold you. on. No, no, no. Okay. Listen here. But here it is. How if no one saw them put the weights inside the fish? Yeah. What crime was committed? They're, they're I, saying we I would agree like with that. that. <gasps> I would yeah. agree with that. And how dare you? I no. would. But I'll, you know the truth. It doesn't matter. I, know, I, I understand. But wait a minute. I'll back this up even more. There was <laughs> a time. Out. There was a time when Peg? we went to Lake Champlain <laughs> for our for Top Rod. When we used to go to Lake Champlain yeah, at yeah, Gwen's, yeah. and me- occasionally we would keep some some bass to clean them. It was o- opening bass season, Allegedly. so you were allowed to keep a bass or two. <laughs> and I up. remember us filleting smallmouth to eat a few mm-hmm. that had mussels in them, fresh like the the mussels you find on the lake bottom. Right? How the hell did they get in there? They're not eating mussels off the bottom. Apparently, they are. That's what I'm saying. So maybe these but walleye ate lead weights. Are where we started, that Pete. That was the story. They pled yeah. not guilty. They, they're going to <laughs> get off with a slap. Becky's got a time limit. Time oh, limit. I'm sorry. Uh, Do we have another topic? Of course, we have a lot Just, of topics tonight. Come on, let's get another. All right, all right. <laughs> All right, switch. Dave, Dave was on point. And it's yeah. just, it's All right. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> All right, That's switching right. topics, Jay, and this one actually comes from one of our viewers. Uh, this comes from Randy Blockett. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Randy's good. question is, Jay, how do you feel about forward-facing sonar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, how do I feel about it? I yeah. don't know if I have any feelings about it. I don't feel like joy or sadness or anger or anything, but um, – <laughs> I I do uh I think it's great. I mean forward facing sonar, 360 side imaging. I mean pick pick whatever you want. I just had a top 5 video that showed the um saltwater guys Faruno. They have side imaging out to 500 feet. Yes. And they have yeah. 3D um 3D images of what your sonar is imaging, if you will. I mean it's uh it's just going that way i mean it's technology but the great thing is for fishermen i think is that new types of fishing are coming from it and no, new types of understanding of fish behavior like it seems like and mike you probably know this way better than me but and and all you guys for that matter uh but thank you it seems like the fish that we might have been fishing for all these years. It's like you go to a, like a four-way intersection where there's a light, you know, red light. And you know if you stand at that four-way intersection, sooner or later, whatever you're looking for, because it's in a car and you're in that town, it'll come by there, right? And then you can take a picture of it or whatever. It's kind of like that maybe yeah. with the bass, where we know they're going to be on a piece of wood or on a hump or on this rock pile or whatever at some point. So we keep going back there. We're imaging there. We drive over it, idle over it, whatever it is. And finally, we see them there in fish form. But where are they the rest of the time? You know, like yeah. they're somewhere else. And now maybe you guys in particular are teaching the rest of us or going to be teaching the rest of us where they go and how to catch them and that other what is it 90 percent of the time 80 yeah. percent of the time i don't know yeah i they're mean like, that, they're that, like sasquatch yeah. to be honest i mean you think about it they are you, they're there and then they're not <laughs> right that's right Becky. yeah i was gonna say pete i i what jay just said is from a fishing standpoint on learning i love that i mean that's so true what jay just said well yeah, yeah, and, and you're you're right, Jake, because we're we're seeing this uh, yeah, on Bass University talk um, a lot that fishing and the guys that are winning tournaments are fishing the in between places, like those little four way stops that you're talking about, right? We might have one, two, or three of them, uh, maybe down a stretch of the lake, and we would go historically, we'd stop at one four way stop, go to the next one, and check to see if they're there. But the the winners of the tournaments are now stopping at the four and fishing the in between the four way stops, right. and they're picking off the travelers yeah. that are moving from transients, the yeah. transients Gypsies. that are moving from one place to another. Yeah, it's different, and and using forward like if if your fish has lead weights in its belly, it's yeah. much easier to see. <laughs> It is. It it is. For it. it is. So, but, but so, th- so there's a lot of positives, <laughs> but it is hard to ignore the the 
segment of people that hate it and that think it's the worst thing ever for fishing. It's so bad. Let me tell you, it's so bad. It's international. Yeah. I can't give too much away because I signed an NDA, a fishing event in Italy last week. Oh. That's all going to be televised. I can't give too much away. But in this tournament, they had the one hour. They called it the power hour. Say what? Listen to me. For one hour in the day, you could turn on your active target. Or Get out of here. Yes. And, I, and the same thing. Wait, wait, I, was it the same hour? or You, you, you had picked your hour. You picked stop your hour. But I asked why. Jay, I, Jay, I, I got there. I'm like, Jay, I'm, a, why? I'm the foreigner. I'm like, what, the, what, what are you talking about? This is ridiculous. And the sentiment in Europe and a lot of places in Europe, in Germany and Switzerland, all these places, they fucking hate it. They hate it. They think it's the ruin of well, all maybe they fishing. should work more hours and then well, they yeah, it's because they don't just have. Telling you. It's because they don't have AR 15s I'm just telling you. So it's not just <laughs> it's. Well, that Thanks. could be too. I need Jim. But <laughs> but this is a real thing That's where people work. are they associate <laughs> forward facing with an unfair advantage with not fishing the casting you know casting into the unknown right. That's why they got they started fishing. And this takes that away. It's part of the road. You can't deny that piece of it, you know? So I've been doing some research <laughs> on um, <laughs> some lesser expensive ways to see where the fish are. Ooh. Monster Mike has this down. He puts GoPros on the GoPros fish, on their backs. And then he sends them back out <laughs> to the water. <laughs> it's genius. Genius. Yeah. That Shout out to Monster Mike. That might be a violation of fishing game regulations. I'm not kidding. Regulations. I've been watching he works, he works, those videos he works Italian nonstop. Hours, He's I think. so funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe less. Well, I don't know. Well, well I, I got to say. What the hell's Eric work? Remember? Vatican hours? Because I'm not <laughs> doing work at all. <laughs> when huh. when uh, uh, Greg Hackney uh, gave a seminar for us, and when when remember when the mapping Jay, when the mapping all of a sudden had a quantum leap, uh, Greg was teaching about how it's never been a better time to be a shallow water angler, and and I think um, I think the forward facing sonar movement has created opportunities uh, to be a shallow water angler, yeah, and a successful. Yeah, shallow water angler yeah. like never before. I would agree. There's a little bit of that. I think that's yeah. Great. And just just remember, this is all temporary. Like this isn't the rest of fishing. Yeah, you know, like this will happen, and then it'll change fish behavior, and then yes, you know. So and then what happens? So you have guys deep, you have guys shallow. You now you have guys in the in between. It's it might spread everybody out. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't you know. Got guys we'll in the see. upside down. And and <laughs> in the upside down. And there is talk, Paul, I want to bring you into this conversation. There is talk about having the forward facing technology for small boats, which the belly boats, and then bank anglers, right? Because what? yeah. Oh heck yeah. Yeah, because the technology is there to actually have a teles telescoping uh, hon honestly, stick. Honestly, it's like a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. Mike, I spent hey, I spent Paul? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Honestly, Mike, I spend so much time hopping from spot to spot trying to find where they're at, and once I do... Yeah, what if you had it on a, on yeah, a pole? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right? So then I would know whether I'm wasting my time there or not, move to another spot or stay there and figure something else out, use oh, a different keep, bait. Keep that Paul exists. away from the sock hop with the extension stick, my God. Uh, What's well, like metal detector. <laughs> you be in the closet. Yeah. You're out there swinging around in the water. It's like metal detector. <laughs> sock hop? <Yeah. laughs> All right. Well, listen, I, I got to say this, too. I got to since I, I have live scope on my boat, I don't fish nearly enough, certainly not as much as you guys. But I, I can tell you this, like it is it does not make fishing a gimme, not even right. remotely close. You have to have the right conditions. Yeah. You have to have the you have to know how to use it. You have to know what your bait looks like and how the fish react to it and what kind of fish it is like. These pros make it look easy. It is not easy. No way. Nah. Yeah. See, seeing them and catching them are two different things. Yeah, <laughs> especially Jersey. Yeah. yeah. I do think it gives a major advantage to the younger guys. It does. Because it does. It just you stick Vegas on a boat with technology like that. I, I can't. It keeps sliding on okay. my head. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> wig. Um, Ow. Yeah, wig. But. Like kids who've grown up with video games and everything. Like Vegas yeah. didn't even have to be taught what was what. He Pete just, still can't he just program got a, it. A VCR. And he <laughs> could just cast because he could understand what the screen meant in, in real life. Yeah. 
I gotta yeah, say the the and I, I the top ten at the open, it was amazing. Like they everybody was under twenty five years old except for me. Yeah, and Chad Pipkins. Yeah, like and Chad's young. Like Chad's young. Yeah. Every every all the top ten they were they're. I'm looking around. I'm like, are you kidding me? And they were all yeah. dry. Yeah, Pete didn't use LiveScope. <laughs> he just went in for them. Yeah. <laughs> They're old and wet. <laughs> yeah, like, Pete, don't you know we have devices that can see under the water, bro? <laughs> Pete wet. <laughs> Pete moist. Pete moist. Sorry. Uh, good segue to the next topic, Jay, which which there's, there is some tie in here. Uh, Sasquatch? No. Oh. With Ford facing and MLF making a big announcement last week on – Changing the format from every fish counts, every fish that fill, uh, falls in that weight quota counts, to the five heaviest fish. Uh, get thoughts on that, Jay? What 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 are, what are your thoughts on that change? Yeah, I'll, I'll throw you back a question. So, okay, as you know, yes. Jacob Wheeler finished in the top ten in every single tournament except the last one, and where he finished in the top twenty. Yeah. So he, he ran away with Angler of the Year, and Dustin Connell won three tournaments. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, so, dang. So, how much of this change do you think was those two guys just beating up on everybody else? I'm, I'm not laughing because it's you know mm. bad or whatever. Yeah, I think it's amazing. Right. They had incredible right. years, but I mean, yeah. if you're the other guys, you we, know, and as, as you know, you know how that why. how they kind of vote. To make things happen over there, yeah. you know. Jay, what are you saying? Small fish catchers. Jay's not usually I, wrong. I hope that's not why the rule was changed. God, I hope that's not like oh they're having too much success. They're kicking our butt. Let's change the rule. I hope that's not it. I I had heard, but I don't I don't have any you know credible source. But they <laughs> that they made the change because never. because never. the uh, you know it, it, because Just the never. public. The public uh, is telling them that they they prefer to to view and show up to the five fish limit. And yeah, the weigh in. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I I think I think what Jay just said was one hundred percent part of the reason. I don't know if it was the only reason, but I think with then with, it would be fifty percent of the reason or forty well, percent. <laughs> well, I think I think I think <laughs> Dustin and 65. Jacob's success <laughs> definitely yeah. played into it, but you know. But, but but why? Here, but why? What's, because what's the logic. Well, because they're getting their, you know, because you have you have you no, have I get nine it that anglers. Winning, but why 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 does the fish? Why does that rule apply to them? Mike's going to tell you because they're successful with it and they're kicking ass and they're you know. But I I honestly think that it's going to be the same. Yeah, they're. They're good with it or without it, with five it or 50. Hey, Mike, do you think if you exchange the name, and, and Jay, if you exchange the name KVD and Skeet Reese for those two dudes, does yeah. the rule change? or are they like The cool? rule stays the same. Jay? It doesn't change. It stays the same. I mean, I don't know, but it's probably um, a different conversation. It's a different conversation. Yeah. And and the strength of MLF, to me, was always being different, right? It was was – I disagreed with the rule when they went two pounds. Yeah, I hated that. I loved it when it was every legal fish. Mm -hmm. I loved that. And then they had the weight quota, and I was like, "Oh, this is terrible." They're changing, you know, the difference, and now they're just they're falling in line with other tournament organizations. But don't you think, from this the standpoint of like representing the industry, right? Yeah, because they have to have sponsors, and like it, it became like. A spinning rod league. It became a wacky worm rig. Yeah, I, I mean, know. league. Yeah. You know, like cranking's killing it though. Yeah, well, know. whatever. I don't. I stopped watching I, three years ago. I, it's, I, but dude, it's, but I'm saying like it it it, it just got one dimensional it, to me. You know, like you're not gonna see guys going out there throwing a big bait for a big fish or going head hunting when it's every fish. But could it just be guys uh, that when every other football league that tries to start up parallel to the NFL dies? Could it just be bass? Is is where it's at? And everyone else, no matter what they do, yeah. is going to have a second recipe. That, yeah. That's kind of where I'm going. Is I don't know. Are they trying to keep the guys that they got from Bass or FLW? Are they trying to keep them now because they know that some of them are leaving? Yeah. And they're getting rid of the pro circuit, making it the invitationals. That's a five fish league. Yeah. Are they changing it now to keep that five fish format so that they don't lose their old guys? Yeah. But 
and bring in new guys. I guess my point is, like, you know, this is before Me Too, but XFL had the cheerleader cam, <laughs> and it didn't go. No one cared. No one right. watched it. Right. You know what I mean? They followed them walking around like, yeah. you know, no one cared. You right. Know? Right. Um, and because uh, the NFL is the product. It's yeah. like Bass is the product, in yeah. my opinion. I Jay. got I got I got to believe just let me just comment real quick that it's got to be I, I think it might just be as simple as they're not being as profitable as they need to be under the current format. Right. So they have to make a decision to try to be more profitable. Right. It could be that. Jay, you talk to these guys on Pick. a regular basis, the, the the entirety of of the field. You don't have to stay. Uh, <laughs> Beck's falling asleep because she's on a different time zone. Uh, without, you, you know, just – being honest, without giving any names, would you say a vast majority of the MLF anglers, current MLF Bass Pro Tour anglers, are happy, are content, are dissatisfied? What, what's, what's the feeling with those guys? Yeah, I honestly don't know because I gave kind of my opinion on it, and I wanted it to be mine. I mean, in the Bass Blaster, not just right here. But yeah. I wanted it to be mine, not affected. I didn't even read the social posts on it because those guys were posting like, you know, hey, what do you think? And um, and th that doesn't even matter anyway because, you know, the there's so many trolls on, uh, yes. on uh, yeah. social media yeah. or whatever. Plus but stupid people. I, yeah. I really don't know. And um, I'm curious to find out. I really am. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jake, we got some IMs coming through. Yeah. All right, what do we got? We got a good one from Jason Speaking Ryan. Yo, Jason. Yo. He, Jason. He's saying that the adding the weight factor might make it more interesting, and I think where he's going with it is something like where Bobby Lane wins the championship. He's fishing for a certain size fish, Yeah. but it's not a cullable fish. Right. It's just whatever he can get that's in that range, maybe two pound or three pound or whatever it was. Well, if he already has his five and they're good ones, now in that situation he's fishing for a five or six, does that change that dynamic of the viewership? Right. Where I mean, now you're looking for the bigger class fish. Yeah. You catch a three pounder and go, oh, but, it's not big enough now. Yeah, it's a different strategy yeah. for sure. It totally changes the strategy. I mean, it goes from catching numbers to targeting big fish again. Right. Yeah. Back. I could have used input <laughs> at the open. I agree. To, I didn't. I didn't realize I was that close. Like at the open, I right. was. I was thinking I needed mega. And so, but had I known I was two and two pounds you out, for a swim. I would, I would, I would have, <laughs> uh, you know, done something different. Stay in yeah. the boat, kept fishing. Yeah. I hope Jacob Wheeler goes out next year with that record and smashes him up again, dude. Yeah, <laughs> well, probably will. He's done it. Yeah, he's already proved that he you can know? do it on yeah. the five bigs. Like, yeah. What's the next rule going to be like? Yeah, just keep changing. Yeah, as we go. <laughs> yeah, we got to flat fish out of a helicopter. Yeah, Jake, what else well, we got well, coming through the IMs? Anything good? Uh, Shane Green fish against. The uh, Jason or Jacob Wheeler at White River in Indy, and said all he needs is a classic, and he can do it. Uh -huh. Would that complete his career? The classic? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's a great question, man. Who who sent that question? They need one of his co-anglers was probably to give him gas money. Probably. <laughs> uh, I I I think I in my opinion I think you know a classic win is still a marquee thing you have to have. Of course it is. I think it is. I think, I think an angler like Jacob Wheeler will eventually get bored over there, and come back to and come back to bass. I, I'm being honest. I think he has to have that. I, I know, I know Jacob a little bit. I don't think he's going to be satisfied without having a classic in his resume. Quick, quick Got survey. A lot of time. Quick survey, yeah. Jay. Who won the uh, Canadian Football League championship last year? I'll wait for the answer. Dave Mercer. <laughs> exactly, dude. It's bass. It's the classic. Oh. You've got to have that, Ooh. man. Okay. All right. Jay, you want to chime in on that? Uh, you know, is is the classic the premier title? Absolutely. No no doubt. Always will be. You know, that's just the way it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you remember the greatest meal we ever had <laughs> in the classic? The classic? Yeah. You and I? The one we won? The one the the, the <laughs> one in New Orleans? You remember? Yeah. <laughs> it was at about five AM. <laughs> he does not remember. Was. He no. yes I wasn't right thinking now. of the same one, but 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 remind me. <laughs> the uh, oh, I know the one you're talking about. This yeah. was a, this was post celebration. Post celebration okay. Bur walking down Bourbon Street. Yeah. After on burning the it down. Oh yeah. And we were we were just starving and exhausted and everything was closed and the the 
the white beacon of White Castle light <laughs> was on. Oh, yeah. Man. And we we got like mega amounts of oh, yeah. White the Castle. The bag. Yeah. The White Castle bag. And them things are terrible. They're terrible. But, they were the, it, but they're you're the drunk great, and you're hungry. They're the greatest like, burgers in the I, world. I've been yeah. waiting since the last classic <laughs> you guys made me go to to talk to Jay Kumar again. I'm talking about stinking sh- shitty ass six, <laughs> six cent burgers. <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I didn't bring that up. But yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting to talk to Jay yeah. since the last I classic. Had an amazing <laughs> Hot dog from a from a cart in in uh, on Bourbon Let's Street. Let's be honest, yeah. Dave could go really with us good. to every classic. He could, but he somehow twisted this into it's our <laughs> fault for <laughs> making this conversation. Birmingham, go we're gonna <laughs> this this <laughs> February. Ike Live will be story. ten years old. Oh, we got Dave to one classic in ten. Years. Wow, and I went to Birmingham. Wow. Well, you might have to go to the next one. Yeah, I chose the bad one. This, this one coming. Yeah, will yeah be but we one. had fun at Top Golf. At the I was that was that was that was an amazing night. I was just trying to merely say. You know, we got Jay Kumar. Dave, I, <laughs> I talked to Jay at that classic. Oh, yeah. You did? Yeah, yeah. You notice? Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you remember that? Hold on. That's awesome. Jay, are you <laughs> horrified that you're stuck having to talk with all of us? Know, We're like a bunch like of kids, and everyone talks over each other. Uh, okay. Jay, who is hey. he? J- Jay, do I look How you doing, man? Who is he? <laughs> the restraining order is still active. 80s yeah. sitcom? <laughs> oh. No, Jay and I talked at the uh, at the classic. I waited about 20 minutes to talk to him. He's talking to a vendor, and I just stood there minding my piece, and Waited, waited, waited. He finally walked away. Said, "Hey, sorry for holding you up," and walked away. And I was like, "Whoa, where are you going?" And I was like, "I was waiting for you, not him." Yeah. And uh, Jay and I shot to the, the point. Shot to the shit a little bit, and uh, he ended up having me, well, asking me if I want to write an article for him. I wrote one article. Hell yeah! So I'm a published author now as well. Fuck yeah! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Uh, Jay, do you but only one article. One article. <laughs> yeah, Still Jay, published. What's up, Jay? Jay, from the from the standpoint of media <laughs> in the sport of fishing, you you are a big deal. You're you're a big deal. You have been for a long time. It's a big deal to me. You're a big deal. It's you're the crown kite of fishing, dude. I would agree with that. <laughs> I would agree with that. How many? Get just give me a roundabout figure. How many autographs do you sign in the course of a year? I don't know zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good number, pretty round number. Uh, <laughs> just zero. Here's the mind blowing thing, and I'll get Dave to back me up on this. Our very own Brian the Carpenter signs. I would call it Dave. I would call it somewhere between fifty and a hundred autographs no. a year. Yes. Yeah. One hundred percent. Giant. Is that crazy? Fifteen or the wing. Jay Brian the Carpenter is signing autographs. I almost got more respect for the people that got tricked by that five foot five Ben Roethlisberger impersonator <laughs> out in Pittsburgh <laughs> than anyone that asked for Brian's autograph. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Pete. That was for you. <laughs> Listen, my my job is to tell people what you guys say. It's not to be in the spotlight. That's I've always approached it that way. Back in the day, even in on Bass Fan, which was the you know, first digital blah, 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 pro bass fishing. Yeah. There weren't even bylines. Yeah. No, I didn't yeah. want anybody to know who was doing it. Who cares who's doing it? What's right. a byline? You know, who cares? It's about Mike. It's about Pete. You know, who who cares? Yeah, but Jay, you know what Adam I find? Adam Schefter reporting. Jay, what I find. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know who that dude is, but. Oh, He's never the mind. worst. But, yeah, I, I find myself chasing, like, I, ch- I find myself judging and chasing some of the things you started, right? Like, I find myself judging other sites by Bass Fan. Yeah, and I find myself judging internet shows more so because there's nothing really more on TV than you know you and Zona show. Like I mean, I don't know. Like you guys, like you yourself, were were a part of two things that kind of set a bar that really no one's no one's beaten. You know, no one's even wow. come close to to matching in terms of interest. I would agree with that. Round of applause. For Thank that. you. I would agree with that. I Jay mean, Kumar, OG Dave. Bass fan, the one that he, uh, yeah. you know, the one that he sold, OG? and now gets to. I would agree with that. And now I gets saw, to live at the top of the hill, ma- ma- man in the White Orangers. Castle. That's you know, great. no, but that that that, <laughs> yeah, that site was amazing. You know, the way it was, absolutely. Know, nothing's the same anymore. <laughs> this is true. No, oh, hey dude. man, thank See. you. I appreciate that, but that's not, you know, why I did it. I, I did it because I love it. You know, that's it. And yeah, but. Brady doesn't yeah. do Brady because he wants trying to be Brady. He's doing it because he loves it too. Like I'm saying, you you know, yeah. You can take the compliment. I, I I can see you know you're uncomfortable <laughs> with being complimented. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's mustache falls off. I, I, I can't, every time I smile. Jay, yeah. can you see Brian's mustache, Jay? No, I no. can't. Oh, it looks Is it real. It's very fake. What? Very fake and very awkward. How dare you? <laughs> uh, on the next topic, Pete. Uh, this is one that. By the I, way, Jay. You know, Jay's got a top 
20 list too for you sir. oh uh, this is my this is my last good one <laughs> i had in my notes right here uh news of the npfl uh, going defunct in 2023 ah. has surfaced. Um, some argue too many tournaments, you know, Is that true? never had room to survive. That's uh, sad to hear. Other, others argue it was a great another outlet for more tournament fishermen. Where do you, where do you fall on this? On on three leagues, four leagues, five leagues. Where do you fall on this topic? I mean. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, if it's true, uh, I haven't seen anything about it yet myself or heard anything, but i um, oh, been no. unplugged for like three days if that's when it happened. But <laughs> Mike was out of town for like two weeks. <laughs> so it's <was> big crap. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, but uh, I'll say like. Are you false reporting? Is I'm this... not false reporting. I heard that from a re really reliable source. Who, Brian? CNN. Oh, oh, Brian. Brian. The only person I've heard it from is Mike. No, <laughs> yeah. and I've, and I've, and I've checked up on it. Well, what do you want me to do? Give away my sources, Jay? You, you can't, can't. That's like that's. Uh, give you away can't do that. Sources. I didn't know. Well, I mean, you can't give away that's my the whole point. Like, how do you know whether anything's true unless you hear it yourself or look into it yourself? I just haven't, you know. So I don't want to say either way. But I'll okay. say this: I, I think the last thing anybody needs is more live coverage i'm sorry like, <laughs> i mean yeah. i don't care what it is i mean yeah. if you can re if you can refashion it into something completely different than two or three guys talking about these guys they're showing fishing you know great but uh, there's only so much eyeball time to go around you know i'm yeah. not saying it was bad it wasn't bad it was good yeah you know yeah what i'm saying is they already have wall to wall, you know, bass and tall. major league fishing live coverage. So right. it's it's gonna be hard. And then I don't know, what is it? Is it another opens? Uh, to me it was below the opens somewhere, you know. Right. You got the tours, the opens and pro circuit or whatever they're calling it now, and the, and the invitationals, and then you know, somewhere beneath that was was this circuit, which is fine. But, you know, is is that how they were selling it? Is that, you know, yeah. is that the level of finances that they needed to make it go? I, I really have no idea. Yeah. Paul, give, uh, chime in on this. Paul, as, as, a, as, a <laughs> viewer, as a viewer of tournaments, you watch tournaments yourself. It, what, what makes you tick? What do you want to watch when yeah, you tune call. into live? What do you, what do you want to see? Well, done. well um, obviously the bass catching, obviously. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. Uh, the merry-go-round. <laughs> get out of here, Dave. <laughs> what I want to see Sorry. is, um, honestly, I haven't watched fishing in a while. I go fishing so much myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, uh, to be honest, I used to watch the Elite Series a lot more when yeah. I was younger, but I yeah. fish so much, I don't really watch it unless it's like um, highlights on YouTube. Yeah. So but, you support uh, fracking. Paul, you just buttressed what Jay <laughs> said, though. Like, no more live, please. Like, you are yeah. a hardcore fish head, and you don't yeah. even consume it. Right. You saw that. You just got. Yeah. You just. You, you just got like a, a survey from. Yeah, Paul's a from super. The common he is, man. He's the biggest fish head you're ever going to find. And here he is fishing like, every day, and he's not watching live. While being honest, wow. he answered you. Yeah. You know. That's interesting. That's interesting. Jay, why is that? Why is what? Why is he not watching live? Why is he not watching Bass or FLW or MLF? Hey, hey I can answer that for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Because I would rather be the one catching fish than seeing somebody else catch uh, fish. Just, good answer. Just saying. It's a good answer. After I, after I, I catch my I share of fish, I don't then I'll agree. go home and watch it. <laughs> Pete does not agree with Dude, you. Dude, I, I don't know if I agree with this. I When I'm fishing, I have live on. Yeah. I, ha I have my iPad. Or my iPhone. While you're fishing? While I'm fishing. I got past you on. Huh. While I'm fishing. Why? So when you know the camera's on, you can clench your butt cheeks? That's <laughs> 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 great, but you don't answer phone calls while you're yeah. out there, guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, it's, it's like listening to a baseball game. Right. Uh, I'm entertained. I can hear the inflection of the commentator's voice yeah. when something is important is happening, and I can just glance at it. And uh, This group right I love here. It. I love it. You read you read the last text you read the last text on a twenty text group text chain and you you're like that's what you think the whole topic's about. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am I am also opposed <laughs> to being on text chains. Ooh. They should be killed. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to talk to me? Talk I'm to sorry, me. I'm sorry, but this group's text chains <laughs> are the best. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like bling bling. Er, 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 er. My phone's yeah, going Pete, off. We're trying we're trying to benefit your business here. Uh, uh, Pete, I got an idea to make most, you money and make your business grow. Mostly, <laughs> maybe read mostly it. you're just trying to insult me. <laughs> 50 50 50 50 50 <laughs> only around this time of year because of the mashed uh, potatoes uh yeah. no uh, well uh, anyway it's a little pet peeve of mine okay all right it's a pet peeve <laughs> but i love the life there you go Fine. jay do you, be, you consume said. jay do you consume much of the bass life much no not much you know, uh, some days I'll have it on while I'm working, but I can't just sit there and watch yeah. hours and hours and hours of this stuff. You know, I just can't. I'm like Pete. If I have it on, you know, you hear somebody hook up or, or you hear guys talking about how they're fishing or what they're seeing. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know how much of that you actually have to watch. You know, it's kind of like a it's like having somebody in the boat and they're talking about what they're doing. Do you have to watch them doing it or do you know what they're saying? You know? Yeah. Problem is there's few moments like Martin's down on the Chesapeake on those docks, right? There's, there, there's, right. there's few moments like that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times when you're wa when I'm watching live, it's not what the fishermen are saying. It's what I'm seeing. It's what they're not saying. It's the little stuff that I pick I, up on that mm -hmm. helps me. And that's, yeah. that's what intrigues me to watch it. It's mm -hmm. almost the stuff that they don't want to talk about. That I'm can like, you, can you like cite a fly an on the wall, you know? Can you cite like, an instance? Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I can. I can cite one. Go like ahead. when they're snagging fish off of a bed <laughs> and they're hiding it under the <laughs> bed. <laughs> under the bed. Huh? <laughs> really, Peter? Oh wait, hey, 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 that reminds me. Live scope. Apparently, there is some feeling that guys Our might snag. use live scope to intentionally snag fish like with treble hook baits jerk baits or whatever have you guys Dang. heard anything about that no but but it makes sense i've, I've, heard, make a I've lot heard of sense i've heard rumor whoa whisperings yeah. huh and and right that's see mike that could be out on everything i know you could you could you could do that effectively and and right how could you ever be convicted that like you were trying to purposefully snag fish right unless Becky? you unless you had a weighted treble hook with a white you know, grub on it. Yeah. I don't know. I got crucified <laughs> for snagging a carp in the back, so who knows? Yeah, Beck? Thoughts? Beck? <laughs> I got nothing. It's 5 o'clock. <laughs> Let's five talk more about Italy. No. Let's, uh, <laughs> Italy. Carry on. No, I do want to hear about Italy. 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 Uh, by the way, Jay, the top five thing that you're doing, I love it. I just I want to throw that in there real quick. I love that. I think it's great. Great content. Uh, Paul? Yes. And, Thank uh, you. Very, very, very. I, lo I look forward to it. That segment. Thanks, so, man. Thanks yeah. for watching. We're just trying, you know, make it fun, make yeah. it fast, and make it fun. Yeah. Hey, Jay, what do you think about having like a uh, Sasquatch excursion with some anglers? And Hell all yeah! Come on, let's go. Flush this one out, Dave. Come on. How how's it going to go down? Well, he gets four serious guys. Okay. And like I roast them while we're walking around the world. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> And we record it all. And we record it all. What do you think, Jack? I got a couple hot spots up in the Adirondacks. Dude, I think we should go down to Hackney Swamps down there and do that, dude. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I haven't be been spooky. able to get Jay out on the boat, and I'm willing to drive an hour and a half up to his driveway. <laughs> and I still can't make it happen. <laughs> We've been trying for about, what, three years now? Jay, me and the family <laughs> on Bear Mountain in the Adirondacks had a, a, tr a tree shake. An actual massive tree getting shook about 100 yards from us collapsed. And we got encountered by three dudes and basically got escorted off the mountain. What? No bullshit. Yeah. What did What did the dudes look like? Two nerds and a, and, and, and a gunner. Two, really? Two, yeah, two nerds and a gunner. Everybody was dressed like the crocodile hunter except for the gunner whose shirt was untucked. I don't yeah. I don't I don't understand the story. Like, why Wait. were you escorted off by? These well, guys? so uh, so we were hiking Good up question, and, and when you're going up these mountains, you're basically going a Z, Z formation, Switch right? Practice. You're not rolling Switch around practice. it. You're going back and forth and something 100 yards That's away. What you do when you're looking for. No, I'm talking about when you're going up that when you're hiking these trails in the Adirondacks, like the okay. four, it's called the 46. There's 46 mountains that are like these historic mountains to go and hike. OK. They take a while to go, but you're basically zing back and forth up the side of it. You're not going around it. Okay? okay. So something that could be merely 50 yards from you is 500 feet above you. 
because of the elevation. So we had this tree. We heard it. Crack, 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 crack. And we're walking up. We're like, man, what was that? It was me, the wife, and the kids. And then here come these nerds with the cameras. And if you ever were, like, you're not, you were never like a soldier or a police officer. So you don't know what it's like to encounter someone else who is in a in, in like a condition like well, not condition white which is what most people walk around in like you know like in the middle of, of of being alert this dude's shoulders squared off with me i squared off with him we read each other and they basically were like man you got a far way to go it's getting dark by the time you get up there and jay we were basically talked off the mountain <laughs> because they saw something they didn't want you to see yeah but listen I, i'm not finished yet so i said did you guys they were so close we encountered them so closely after the tree fall and like I said, my wife and kids can verify this. I said, did you guys hear that tree fall? They're like, no, what are you talking about? It was so loud. It was, uh, it was, there's I no way it. they didn't hear it. I wouldn't call it deafening, but you can hear so much there because there's no one around. We were there like late summer. There wasn't a lot of people on the, on the trail. In fact, there was no one on the trail because we were the only car parked there. And on the way out, these, you know, one of the nerds took a picture of like a really giant gnarly black stump and was like kind of laughing at it with his friend. Like, I, I truly believe, and Jay, you know, you and I talk about this. We did talk about it once. I think they know they're there. I think there's keepers of, of, of certain situations and trails and, and packs of them. And I absolutely was standing squared off, with, 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 you know, with, with a warrior class dude and two nerds, mm. you know. And Wait, so uh, just to clarify, so you think that these people are almost like the protectors? Like I don't know if they're protectors or observers or, I mean, there's so many documented cases of our government, especially on our military bases. Fort Lewis is, 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 is a prime example, you know, where, where these things happen. And I just think they're out there with them. Some of them they kill. There are stories of Delta Force teams killing these things in Fort Lewis while other soldiers were off course on, uh, on, on, on like, pretend missions, you know, and they encounter the Delta Force guys while they're engaging these guys with live guns and they have guns that have blanks because they're simulating being a bad guy. They're called Opposition Force, Op 4. And what I think was what we encountered were guys in the Adirondacks who were, you know, were with pot potentially a pack. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I just know that, you know, mm -hmm. it, was, it was odd enough. And at the two nerds had cameras. Huh. The other dude... Had a, had, a, had a pretty decent-sized backpack w with a shirt untucked and, 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 a, and a jacket over top of it. And everybody else looked like, I said, the crocodile hunter. You know what I mean? Hmm. What would hmm. Freddy Krueger do in this situation, I'll, Pete? Dude, I would just plow right through that force. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd, I'd try to find the beast. But, Jay, your claws? But Jay where, we encountered, <laughs> where we encountered this, Jay, was merely about five miles from where I sent you that audio of a couple years back. Hmm. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I mean, the government knows. They know. 100% they know. And, and the question is, why do they not want us to know? And I don't buy the obvious. The obvious is never true. So, oh, you know, it will cut off natural resource development or it would scare people from camping or, you know, it's, that's all stupid. So what's the real reason? And I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. I do think, I think it has something to do with um, kind of a, a uh, what do you call it? Like a, like an overarching fake reality that yeah. they want us to believe in. Uh, and not knowing these things are there is part of that, but I don't, I can't really describe it better than that right now. Yeah, because, you know, you go back to as far as things have been written and, and the, the interactions with these beings is, al is almost exactly the same as they are now. Nothing's changed. Like there's, you know, if you go to Dave Polite's can and Missing Project, he has a, uh, actually like a, like a Bigfoot class going on <laughs> right now where he, he's going back to articles, you know, from the 1800s of explorers. And it, the, the reports are no different than they are now, you know. Is everyone got it, it wrong? Was, who, How do you who, explain that in the uh, – state the obvious, because I'm a non-believer. Right. <laughs> no, go ahead, Pete. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody's yeah. got one of these. Everything is exposed now. How do you explain that it, it's just not common knowledge? Mm. How about with all the hunters and the trail cams you're talking uh, about? There's cams. millions and millions of guys well, there out is, there. There is footage on the trail cams. But it's always obscured. It's always, you know, there's yeah. nothing definitive. 
that I have ever seen. I don't know. How do we explain that? Pete, there are documented graves of giants in North America through history that's hidden from you. It's hidden from you. As Jay said, they're, 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 you, you are in a script, and it's a protected script. These, these fossil records of giant skulls and I've spines s- I've, and I've, hands, they exist. I've, 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 right, s- Pete. I've seen some of that. You in the script. Uh, you know, I've, I've, but, you know, come on. We're <laughs> real time. I got an iPhone. I see a beast. I take a picture. It's, it's going to go viral like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> beast. Well, Pete, why would you believe it, dude? If, if Dave walked in with, I just saw this in the Pine Barrens, here you go, and showed you a video, you're telling me you would believe it. Your Dave is a good friend. He's got a crisp iPhone, whatever, X video. Are you going to flat out believe it from then on, or do you have to see it yourself? No, I, 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 well, I'm an outdoorsman, Jay. I spend my life out there. That's right. You know, I've, rugged. I've seen, <laughs> I've heard weird stuff. I've seen all kinds of crazy. I mean, I, it's not like I'm trying not to believe. It's not like I'm being pessimistic. No, no, no. I'm just saying, if if you had video proof, video proof, well, as good as CGI is now and all this other stuff. Yeah. You would be like, oh, yeah, Dave, you got one, man. Uh, I'm with you now. I see what you're well, saying. This, this it's, is, like, it's like the I think, I think I would. Let Pete answer. Right? Let Pete answer. Let Pete answer. I, I think I, think I would believe that. that. Yeah. This was a bad example, though, because Dave still has a flip phone. Yeah, so, Jay, two <laughs> things. Me and Pete aren't good friends, and I have a Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> a Samsung. <laughs> Dave still owns a flip phone, folks. <laughs> And that's I'm just by kidding. choice. Pete, by I, choice. I, Pete, I thought you were going to jump. I was hoping you jumped on that. <laughs> I was like, God, I hope he catches that. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, we Paul. see each other once a month. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I went over Dave's house once. Yeah, you know? Paul, does it surprise <laughs> you that Dave just still has burner phones and not real phones? He just has a bunch of flip well, phones laying around? he's such a uh, paranoid a conspiracy nut. <laughs> no, it doesn't surprise <laughs> me at all. Burner mm, phones. Trying to, stay, right. trying to so, stay off the radar. No tracking. Yeah. I get it. So, J- Jay, do you even bother trying to explain to the normies the things <laughs> you know and see? Normies. Normies. Like, in no, terms no of way. what you saw in D.C., no how way. do you even begin, right? Because yeah. I can tell you three. Yeah. The little time I was a police officer, I was a part of three constructed realities like you explained with politicians. And I got to watch it, and it was very minor and minimal, but I got to see it hands-on how, how, they, how they actually do script a reality for the normies to digest (laughs) how do you begin (laughs) that's so insulting come on pete eat some oh my god it's totally true it's totally true here's the thing Mm -hmm. most people don't want to believe that level of deception or can't i i personally i'm a i'm a christian man i i believe it has to do with evil and i don't even think i don't think after the last two and a half years i really understand how deeply terrible evil is and how badly it is ingrained into our yeah. world. You know, I really don't. I'm trying to understand it. But I don't think most people want to, and most people want to go to work and go on vacation and go out Italy. to dinner a few times and go, go to Italy. You know? <laughs> yeah. They don't want to think about all this crap, you know, yeah. and I don't blame them. I really don't. Mm. Ignorance is bliss. It can be. Yeah. I mean, Pete, look Thank at you. Pete. He's happy. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us are struggling. Yo, Freddy. Dude, I'm fascinated. Show me a being. Show me a UFO. I'm fascinated, man. Listen, I, Pete, UFOs, I listen to ancient astronaut UFOs. theory. Oh. I, I, UFOs. I contemplate all this stuff. It's it's I'm a bright guy, you know? <laughs> like okay. well, listen, come on, Pete, man. If you, if you say so, I, I'll believe you on that one. But listen. <laughs> The, the, the UFO thing. Time stamp. Time stamp. Hold on. How do you explain the fact that the UFOs defy the laws of physics? How do you explain that? Pete? No, I'm fascinated by it. I want to well, learn well, more. Well, here's the thing. They do. Like, the military admits that. Uh, that's the government agreed, admits that. That's agreed. Agreed. Right? I'm, I'm seeing that. I mean. So how do they do that? How, how can something in reality defy the laws of reality as we know them? There's only two two options. Either one, it isn't real, or you know, two, it's beyond the reality that we know. That's it. Those are the only two. Have you ever seen David Fraber talk about the UFO he encountered in San Diego? The, no. the pilot. You, 
I believe, Jay, is that what you're buttressing your argument with was Fraber's testimony? Yeah, about Fraber. the TikTok, the TikTok, the Tic Tacs uh, UFO. Okay. Yeah, well, that's that's one of many. Yeah, I'm just I'm, that's the most. I'm just trying to give something for Pete to to associate with. You have to see that to understand what we're talking about here. You know what I mean? Like this is a commander. This is a pilot. <laughs> yeah, wax on, wax off. We got <laughs> Mike to buttress. You got to do the. You got to do the. What uh, is, do was it? Uh, we got. We got the, the crane. You got to do the crane. I'm doing the crane. No. Oh. Gotta, we got one of the most prominent guys <laughs> in media talking about UFOs, and you're going to do that. Well, because <laughs> I was trying. I, I was think, in. I, I was think in Mike, the he conversation. Did that on a, he did that on a dock filing, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I did. A dock he did. filing. I did. Mike, yeah. You got to do that. Yeah. I did get on a dock filing. Jig rod in your hand. Yeah. No drag is jig drag. Yes. All right. Well, we're not going to convince him, Jay. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Well, uh, that's not what that's not what it's for. It's to really see, like, okay, well, these people are either idiots <laughs> or insane, or they might know <laughs> what they're talking about. And what do you do with that information? You know, P yeah. is smart. I do think more, more and more, more people are coming more along. Though. I do think Just Jay. I do more. think with things like Telegram and and Truth Social and Getter. I think people are seeing things that they otherwise wouldn't see. They are. They're seeing some craziness. You, oh, but, but you said something, Dave. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. So they saw Pete do a backwards ro- uh, somersault <laughs> into Stop, the wall. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> and disappear. Gone. There was there was a, right. there was a period. In he that teleported. Where yeah. He was completely been. gone. He teleported. Gone from reality. Gone yeah. to Davy Jones' locker. Uh, that's right. <laughs> now that that might have been CGI. Maybe Pete didn't even get wet. And You're right. That was all, you know. You know, you know the, 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 the on for views. Here's the big. Pete, the can big you walk us through that? that. Here's the thing. A force that mm. we didn't account for told me to not leave. Gravity. Wait, a dry rotted uh, it told cable? Me, it told me to not leave. Yeah. And I didn't listen to it. Yeah. I didn't listen to it. And that's. Wait, wait, wait. Say that what? again. What for? What are you talking about? Well, I, you know. An I, intuition and a voice in his head said, well, get out of here. Well, I was ready to go, right? My intuition, my experience, a knowledge of the water where I said, right, it's God. time to leave. Right. But a force outside of my, you know, you know, awareness was telling me to stay. Yeah. And and after and and I didn't I didn't listen to it. And I'm I'm I think I should have listened to it. Uh-huh. I think well, I, I think but and right. here's why I say that because so so is, it broke your trolling motor well, cable and kicked in the water. What do you think, Jay? Wormwood's in his here's, head. Here's the thing. <laughs> Wormwood. I told oh, you about, I told you about the time <laughs> the boys were fishing, or we were swimming when I was fishing on Thousand Islands. Yeah. And the smallmouth just clouded to my boat yeah they were curious and aware they got under your boat yeah Yeah. and i think maybe my uh you know somersault in the water might have altered the attention of those fish that on the area that i was fishing yeah and i left uh probably won that tournament but i left all right brian what was your compliment to me i forget Uh, (laughs) damn it pete (laughs) i don't get very many (laughs) no no you you were we were we were talking and, and uh actually you were kind of giving it to your mom like about how they slept through a bunch of things that took place during yeah. their period. Uh, yeah. Right? Like, they slept through the assassinations of JFK and Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. RFK. And like, yeah. And, like, even though, I, I you know, I kind of had a pessimistic viewpoint about how things are going right now with the Internet kind of being gamed with a lot, we still have it. Yeah. And... 40, 30, 40 years, 50 years ago, we weren't getting yep. that information out. I don't know. I no, you're right. Because I said that I said that with these with new platforms, yeah. and now that Twitter's, you know, apparently going to be a free beacon again with Elon Musk taking it over. I just said simply, there's more information for people to digest now. Right. You know, like there's conversations I can have with Mike that I didn't used to be able to have. Yeah. Pete's going to be hard to get to because Pete, <laughs> Pete, Pete, yeah. Pete's pragmatic. He likes to, you know, he he needs to see. But things like he can't he won't deduce based off life experience he needs he's almost like a scientist where he needs to see it and yeah. be able to prove the theory over and scientists over again. yes you know? I, i'm an engineer by training well, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm not that's i was not having an these insult, same debates with my son and his friend the other night and we were talking about like global warming being a real thing and blah 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 and it's like i think about like when i was like 10 or 12 i, I took a trip for my with my brother from florida back up and we hit every beach on the way. We was like we wanted to swim in every state on the way up. Yeah. 
And cool. like back then, we would like legit put baby oil on ourselves. We were also having like a, <laughs> con- like a, co- a, a, a contest to see who get could get darker. So we're putting baby oil on ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. want it to burn. Dude, do that Chris. shit now. Try uh, that now. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm telling. Yeah. Problem is, Brian. they made it a political issue. Yeah. And it's not. It's yeah. science. Baby right. Earl. Yeah. Brian, Brian, yes, go to the University of Huntsville, Alabama website and th- look at their global warming, their temperature charts, actual measured temperature. Help me out, Jay. Not Did now, you, not cut. now, but later. Well, what Jay well, is trying to tell you is New Jersey used to be under a mile of ice a few million years ago, and there was no damn SUVs yeah. to melt the ice. No car. Yeah. What he's telling you is it's fake news. The whole global warming. Well, I, no. I'm, not, I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying that 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 like try putting baby oil on yourself now and going out there. You got to wear sunscreen. Yeah, I feel I like know. shit's different. I don't think. I think you're older. You don't know testosterone no more. <laughs> blue, you used blue to walk chew. around with a half chub. Blue chew. All right. Blue chews, no, low T. <laughs> no, but I'm saying you walked around with a half chub. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Look, don't so don't sorry, bother. Jay. Like well, my my advice is don't. You didn't ask for my advice. We did. The we way I to. do things is don't believe what anybody says Dave. and just go look in it yourself. Yeah. And when yeah, I my agree personal with that. belief is yeah. when the government. And corporations and uh, you name it, anything big and, you know, wealthy, when they all are pushing one thing, I don't care what it is, UFOs or this or that, you know, some story, well, I'm immediately skeptical. But, I'm, you know, I was uh, – Same here, dude. Hey, I was a reporter. Like, yeah. I'm an investigative reporter. I was trained not to believe what somebody is telling me, you know, without yeah. – verifying it somehow and i just i don't believe it yeah. i really yeah. don't well, I, I, J- jay i'm with you i i i look at everything i kind of call bs on it i was just citing personal experience what i felt like regardless of statistics or or reading reviews or listening to the news i feel like it got different however yeah. what were you doing in dc dude me yes, i can't you. tell you come on <laughs> i was just being a reporter man for what That's what it. were you what were you reporting? Tell us about yeah, it. so I, I worked in, for and then ran a business-to-business publishing company. And that is when, that was in the 90s, early 90s. And that's when, oh, God, no, Clinton, Bush. Mid-90s. And that's when I started writing for Bass. And then I would talk to these, man, these, those people in D.C. are crazy, dude. Yeah. They're crazy. The animal rights people and the environmental people, they had no clue. They they wouldn't know the difference between a bass and a hammer. Like they don't even uh, know what no. they're talking about. It's you were there, you were there during the height of Code Pink, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, What's pink. Code pink. What is that? Code pink, the ones that wore the hats. <laughs> You know, remember them one with the pink hats? I'm not even going to say uh, what it was. I have the whatever. I'm sorry. Vagina hat? <laughs> yeah. Vagina Jay, hat. Jay, when were you there? <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, my wife and I lived in uh, Arlington, Virginia, right outside D.C., and we were there. Man, she would remember, uh, Becky, I'm sorry. Uh, it's probably sometime in the 90s until yeah, probably like seven or eight, eight or nine years and somewhere in there, Later. like into the, maybe the early 2000s. Yeah, you across paths. Cause, yeah, because I lived in D.C., 2000 2000 to 2006 yeah, how did the deep, deep state where were you where were you <laughs> um i started out in arlington clarendon that area and then moved yeah. into i was at ninth and o street but that's back when ninth and o was like uh, the hood Okay. My, my my neighbors sold illegal substances. Here's one of her neighbors. A word <laughs> right here. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. But, uh, that's just that bad. But now it's it's very, very posh area. It's yeah, they lovely. got rid of they got rid so of is that, is that where you yeah. you met your significant other, Jay? In DC. No, man, I met her in Jersey. That's why I'm back here. Jersey. Uh, see, same thing happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him back. <laughs> tow him back. back. <laughs> tow him back. It's like tow uh, USA. Tow him back. <laughs> Jay, what was the craziest fake, uh, like what was the craziest illusion you witnessed that you'll talk about? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, the, two, the two things that I can remember and can talk about, one was um, <laughs> not really an illusion, but it was bizarre. I worked at near DuPont Circle 
which at the time they called the Fruit Loop. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that, but anyway, <laughs> they. Um, Did you see they just had their thirty fifth high heel race? Oh my gosh! No, I'm yeah. glad I didn't see that. Thank but you. Wow. <laughs> same. <laughs> so anyway, I'm I'm looking out my office window, and I remember these these two guys are coming down the street. And it happened all the time, you know, like obviously people walking down the street, but one guy's got a satchel, you know, thing over his shoulder, looks like it's made out of leather and leather walking. And I'm just randomly looking out the window and they cross, like they go next to each other and this guy hands the satchel and this guy takes it and boom, they're going the other way. Oh my God, like you they, saw the cold drop, dude? So it was like some crazy spy thing, you know, Whoa. that happened right yeah, there. Yeah, it's, like, it's called a cold drop. Cold, wow. A cold. cold drop? Yeah. Uh, and How then about... the, the politician thing that I distinctly remember, I think it was my wife's, uh, she worked for the, what was the, it was something to do with the Kennedy family. They had like a foundation for something. And um, we went to this function with this politician, man. And the guy walks in, I, I can't remember. He was a Senator from somewhere. I can't remember the guy's name. And it was it was all planned out ahead of time you yeah. know like not with us we weren't privy to it or whatever but everything that happened like nobody told us but you could see the script happening where these people would come up and be fawning over the senator and these people and i remember looking at this guy straight in the eye for a split second and there was like it reminded me of one time I was getting a ticket or fighting a ticket in, in Hoboken. And uh, they brought in these prisoners from the, you know, the from the prison in the bus. And they kept them in the dock, which was behind where we were. Yeah. And I remember looking back at this guy. This was years ago in, in Hoboken. And I was like, I instantly felt like that guy has a demon. This is way before I was a Christian or anything like that. Never thought about it. But it just hit me in the eyes and the head like holy crap look away from that guy you know and this guy the senator guy was different like he didn't seem evil or dangerous i'm sorry he didn't seem dangerous but he absolutely seemed evil like he was looking it was like something was looking out through his eyes yeah. you know what i mean Whoa. he was an avatar and the the thing was like stage everybody did their thing and the dude was pulled this way and that way and photos and blah, blah, blah. And then everybody was gone. And I was like, this is retarded. Like this, <laughs> this is so hollow. Nothing, nothing happened here yet. Somebody spent the time and the money to set this up and it's going to be this media thing and that media thing. And I knew how the media, you know, business works. And I was like, wow, you know, Jay, and there's want... one more. There's one yeah. more. I can't tell you oh, come right on. now, but maybe in a couple of years I can tell you. Uh... That that is absolute proof that that is that's what happens there. Wow. Staging. Jay, oh do you God. want to hear my Joe Biden interaction? Yes. Reason? <laughs> All right. So I right is now is this real? Uh, this is legitimate. So I am right now probably about I don't know twenty feet from the monitor. I can see you on. Okay. Yeah. I was half the distance to Joe Biden. So it was around 2000. I was at a, a trooper's funeral in Delaware. And my partner and I were there. And the way it worked, we were all out in a staging area. And most police funerals that happen, if it's not a trooper that's dead, like the, the state police take over a lot, of the, a lot of the functions. They just seem to organize it better. Long story short, we end up getting marched and getting formed. And my partner and I wind up, in the reception, I guess, area of where the casket's going to come out at at the funeral home. So I'm like maybe five feet, ten feet from the door, my partner and I, Joe. And across from us is an area that has tra cones, like small traffic cones, to quarantine off maybe about, a, a, maybe about like a ten-foot area, maybe about five foot deep, ten foot wide. And there's police officers behind there. We're all at attention. So we're at attention for a really long time. The bagpipers hadn't started yet, so you know the casket's not coming out. Now we're in Delaware. This is when Biden was a senator. So everyone, all the, all the I guess, the dignitaries and VIPs, this coned area was for them. So they all start getting brought in, 
and we're all at attention. So where I'm at, I have no choice but to stare straight ahead to where this cone is. I'm not center of where the cones are, but I like that's in my periphery. I'm like right straight ahead from it. And they all start getting brought in, and these guys, while all these cops are at attention, you know, here they are. They are almost at like they're at a party. They're at a cocktail party. They're laughing. They're talking. They're not talking loud, but they're laughing. They're joking. And no sooner than we, we, they start showing up, the cameras are now on my left, my partner's right, between us because we're right in front of them, the news cameras I'm speaking of. They got word the casket's about to come out. The drums start like from, from, the, uh, from the bagpipe crew, like <laughs> instantly, instantly, Biden throws on this, this face of sorrow and sadness as I watch this, this young trooper's mother coming out crumpled over there he is all sad throwing on this sad face casket comes by with the honor guard no sooner than the casket's gone they're gone that whole cone area was just empty gone it was all staged the cameras are pointing at him biden throws on his phony sorrow face and he's gone and to even support that more look no further than when we withdrew from afghanistan and those mothers were confronting about their thir- about the 13 soldiers that got killed and all he could do was talk about his one son. Had no empathy for them. It was about him. I watched it. I watched it happen. I saw the fake in his face, man. Mm. You know? No doubt. I believe it, man. I mean, when you see these people up close and you have any kind of discernment, I think, and you're normal, like what I would call a normal person, meaning not a groupie of some kind, uh, I think I think the alarm bells will will go off for anybody, really. All right. Well, here's some big news. I got hit on yeah. by a married senator at one of those parties. Did you? All, all my roommates. You say his name. Ooh. No, I don't. Oh, <laughs> my dad might remember because I remember calling my dad the next day, being like, "Chuck this, Schumer, this dirtball." <laughs> um, no. So all of my roommates were interns on the Hill, and so they would get invited to all these. Was he things, a Dem or a Republican? Would, I don't remember now, but they would drag me <laughs> along. Dick Dermott. And the only thing that anyone would ask <laughs> you dick, is, dick, 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 who dick, do you dick. work for? What do you do? Who do you work for? And I, I worked for a liquor distributor. So as soon as I tell them, they'd be like, huh. And they'd just walk away. Ugh. Wouldn't even finish the conversation. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm just here for the free drinks. <laughs> Thanks. But yeah. I'll, I'll give you a little more color on this. Uh, just a tiny bit more. So I went to a fancy New England college that I only mentioned because, I mean, I'm I'm from immigrant parents. I mean, we were, you know, middle class, upper middle class. I go up there and this college is populated. Most of the people there, they had gone to prep school, boarding school, very wealthy. It was a a completely, completely different culture than I've ever seen in my life. Right. I went to public school, all that stuff. And what I realized was these people their entire life their entire life is planned out for them when they're born Mm. where they're going to school where they're going to this school then that school then you're going to get this job working here and maybe this job or you're going to work at dad's company or your uncle's company their whole life you're going to marry somebody from you know Mm -hmm. some some like requirements and when they're these guys when they're um parents would show up at college you know my parents would show up hey mom hey dad what's up their parents would show up they would get on a shirt and put on a tie and they would act totally differently totally differently as if as if i don't know they didn't have that like their parents didn't really know them they didn't really know their parent you know what i mean yeah Yeah. Yeah. and i those are the people that run everything yeah they run everything those are the politicians they're you know, family's been in politics, you know, um, they run big corporations, their family's been in that investment banks, you know, it's, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me what, what you saw, Dave. I saw, I saw even, I saw some like lesser stuff. So I don't know if you remember from New Jersey, Senator Torricelli, same partner and I got sent on a detail to watch him. We had a super fun site, Jay and Camden at fourth and Jefferson. It was an old, wick manufacturing company from the turn of the century and what they did was they buried (laughs) they buried these wicks and apparently like they showed up on satellites like radioactive and like the whole site (laughs) 
But we would have like, yes. we would have crackheads running around this building. Like no one would go in this building. It was like before zombies were a thing. It was like home you, base. You didn't go near Fourth and Jefferson yeah, yeah, because you, you knew it was horrible. Anyway, Jay, you were safe. We get sent to protect this guy, Torricelli, before he got arrested and basically sent, taken out of the Senate for corruption. But uh, he got taken in. He got driven in by two young girls in, in, in a Chevy Caprice. We met him. You know, we were just there to make sure nobody messed with him while he was there. He, he He's sitting in the car. A guy in a white pickup truck shows up, Jay. Sitting in his truck. Two news vans show up. A guy in a pickup truck gets out, hands Torricelli an orange vest. Torricelli throws like the vest on, like the, you know, like the like a, like a like a traffic vest, you know, like a like the vest you see people wearing on construction sites. This guy, they they put the hard hats on. The news media turned the cameras on. They're standing in front of this building. They're shaking hands. They're talking. In less than five minutes, the whole thing was done, and it was all over the news that Torricelli's there to make sure that this site gets cleaned up, and it was just all an act. Nothing's ever done. Building's still sitting there. You know oh. what I mean? Worse than that, Al Gore in 2000 comes to Camden. Yo, Gore. Right? Al Gore running against <laughs> against Bush, right? Welcome to the um, Dave uh, Live. Yeah, yeah, I like it. All right, I don't have to tell no. a story. No, I mean, no, I, no, I, no, no, I want to hear it. Yo, Gore. I want to hear it. Did you ever shake hands with the vice president? Shake oh, your head. No. <laughs> never. <laughs> never <laughs> did. I never did. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell a story. I forget. It's another, no, another, I hear it. another fake news Al Gore story. I want to hear it. No, say it. You've been busting balls all night. I bust your balls once, and you get all like, yeah. You know Gore. what it is? I, th- I think it's the, I think it's the, um, I think it's like the sleep lag delivery. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's not oh, your normal man. delivery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I feel like I'm living with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I think you know. <laughs> Dave tells the story or not, I think from my point of view, what the consistent thread here is Amazing. that. Again, I'm a media guy, so I see everything in terms of that. Yeah. Is what you see is a show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a literal show. What you see on that. TV. I believe that. Yeah. Up, all that stuff is why? a I don't show. Understand. To I don't understand why that's surprising. Think whatever. What's that? Much? I'm sorry. Pete, I, I, I don't understand why you guys are surprised by it. We're that. not surprised by it. We're just trying to continue to, because. If you're not surprised by it, you're, you're conditioned to it. You're, you're accepting it and, and, and just – you got to continue to highlight the, the, the BS, dude. There's a lot of it going on. I'm well, surprised here, here, by it. Everybody knows, one. but – Yeah. Here's, yeah, here's one in fishing, okay? We We're not going to get to this, but I had, I had like the, the top oh, five right. things that tick me off in bass fishing. I'll right? bring it. Oh, oh, oh let's, yeah. do it. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> one of them – a couple of them have to do with the fact that people have been conditioned – to think that people are bad and nature is good. People are bad and nature is good. All people can do is mess up nature, right? So catch and release fishing tournaments, they're bad. They hurt fish. Fish die, you know. And it's like, are you people stupid? Like, these are fish. You know, they're a step up from bugs. They reach <laughs> like thousands and millions. They've been held up and caught and released and ate, eaten and all this stuff. Yes! however many years get a freaking life but yeah. they've been conditioned by the media and school and all this stuff that oh you know we're screwing up the world and we're screwing up critters and you know we have to be nice to everybody and here's yes. the trophy go home you know jay you would never let you wouldn't last the day in germany i just want to say that okay but i applaud you. we we spent we spent two weeks it, having conversations about how Americans are so horrible with the way that, you know, I guess we treat animals. Oh, and yeah. They don't yeah. understand. So and, in this and we're barbarians. So yeah. it's so great that you just said that. So the Germans just call us like, barbarians? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're oh yeah. So yeah, listen yeah. to this shit. Barbarians. Listen to this shit. I'm so glad you brought it's this up, It's a German word. In this tournament that I fished, and I'm under an oh, NDA. I can't say too much. Uh, you could not. You had to net the fish. With a rub- rubberized net, you couldn't swing the fish, you couldn't lip the fish, you okay. couldn't because I was why? I'm like I had technique where he's not gonna mm. touch the carpet. I'll just I swing technique. him in and grab him. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's that's uh, that's Barbaric. treating the fish horribly. Yep. A- it was mind blowing to me. <laughs> and then the same people that were telling me this believe that in in their countries. Germany being one of them, that if you catch a fish, 
you have to keep and kill it. That's the law. Yeah. There the is, law is the law if is you catch. if you catch a fish, you have to keep it and kill but it. But you have to gently land it. And this is in Deutschland? This this yeah. is Germany because Germany. That's your responsibility to harvest that fish, to not put it through any more pain and oh suffering my God. To, because it's hurt by the hook. You know, so now you've caught it. To ke- you have to keep it. You have to possess that fish. So how they take Fucking hypocrites. <laughs> sorry. So th- it's funny that you said that, Jay. Go on. I'm Mer- sorry. Mer- so Mer- just, oh, you just got us all fired up because we had to yeah. listen to this. And in, in Europe, I think. I didn't know about Germany, but I know England and I think one or two of the Scandinavian countries are the same way. Other than now with carp fishing, you know, they give the carp a little kiss and they let it go or whatever nonsense they do with that. But yeah, they well, have but lost I guess, the but thread. But that's illegal, but they still, they could because they, you know, love the carp so much and they Does do it. it. So that's is that, is no that where it tops off with England? Like carp, that's, that's as high as they get on the, on the ladder. I think they care about the pike too. But no, I mean, but what else is in England? It's like it's like carp, trout. Yeah, they have they trout, salmon. Yeah, they I don't think trout. I they don't think the, I don't think the British are that they way. Got Xander, huh? I don't think the British are like that. Nah, nah. Just the, the Germans. Yeah. It used to be a law in England that you had to kill what you caught, at least for trout. I'm not, I'm not sure about the other stuff, yeah. but yeah. I'm pretty sure. Crazy. They didn't reference the Brits. Just the but again, that's you know Europe, England. That's where animal rights came from. So who's who's surprised, really? You know, it right. was just to justify the human hunts that the elites were doing over there. Yeah, black forests. Yes, exactly, Jay. They don't, they don't know head. the normies, Jay. They don't know. <laughs> uh, I of... saw one one part of one video. Did he, did he, did he, did he dispute one thing I said? <laughs> <laughs> one part of one video on YouTube of that, and it it was so disturbing. I know. I could not. I, I I probably watched maybe three minutes of it. I couldn't see the rest of well, it. Well, here's what's here's what's more disturbing than that. Kanye West is buying Parlor. Hey, it's, it's his. <laughs> it's actually his. There you have it. When you left, it probably wasn't done yet. Okay, now it's yeah, done. It's done. Yeah. There you have it. He's got Parlor. All right, go on to number two, Jay. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Hold on, I have him right here. Damn, what are we even doing? Yeezy owns Parlor now, Pete. Pete. He's canceled, okay. him, by the way, fully. Huh? Well, that was two of them. So one was you're holding fish wrong, right? You can't hold a bass like this. You're going to break the jaw. Break the jaw. <laughs> oh, yeah, they hate it. Oh, yeah. Be quiet, you know. <laughs> then tournaments oh, wait. kill fish. Let me applaud fish. that one real quick, too. Okay. Tournaments kill fish, and then when you kill a big fish, that's all those potentially big baby genes, big you know, fry genes that you just killed. Jeans. Like they never spawned before. Like there are no bluegills or gobies in the lake or crayfish that might eat those things. We did it. We we cut <laughs> off every possibility that there'll be another random <laughs> everything come together, double digit, whatever. You know. Um here's uh, a good one. You know, you might have seen that these huge small mouse are being caught out in Idaho at that one lake whose name I can't even remember. Yeah. Yeah. They feed on those kokanee salmon out there. Yeah. Like Wahi or whatever the name is. No. Yeah. So all these, listen, the, the DNR is promoting the snot out of that lake because that's where all the records are coming from. And that's their job, right? To get people there and fish and whatever. So anytime I mention that, these people come out of the woodwork and they're like, oh, dude, you're going to kill my lake. You know, you're going to kill the lake if you publicize it. I'm like, well, if I publicize it? You got your DNR, the entire <laughs> social media. People are catching giant fish there, right? And you're telling me, how's it going to get killed? What, what's going to happen? Like, all these bass fishermen are going to show up, and they're going to throw out sticks of dynamite, and they're going to pour, you know, toxic waste in the water and kill the fishery? <laughs> is that what happens? What happens is they get a little harder to catch. That's it. Yeah. You know, nobody's keeping them. Nobody's killing them. It's ridiculous. The burn is real. I love it. Number Jack. four was the walleye cheat as a black eye for tournaments. We already talked about that. That's not true. And then I was looking for number five from you guys because I'm going to do a top five video on it and hurt some feelings. So yes. what's the <laughs> fifth one? What's one that you guys have that really burns you about, you know, people being absolutely dead wrong about this stuff? Yeah. The economic boom of tournaments coming to your town. Uh, I don't know about that. What do I you sell? A true. few hotel rooms nah, and some gas? No, nah, I don't know. I think that's true. Maybe I, I think it could go either way. But I, I did want to say this as I'm thinking. 
everyone you said, Jay, has been, have been issues that we've dealt with too. And it made me want to clap every time you talk because <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing, you know, the holding the fish wrong and, you know, all those topics. We deal with them on a on a daily basis. So it's nice to hear you say Doc that. Doc owners. Jay, if you yeah. caught a tarpon in Florida, would you grab him by the mouth and hold him up? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Can you? I don't know anything No, you're absolutely not. No they, they'll, they'll shoot you with a bow and arrow down there if you do that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's frowned upon. the thing, like, fishermen are PETA's best friends now. I know. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. oh you're going to hurt the fish. You guys are hurting the fish. You're killing the pion. Shut up. They're fish. Yeah. They grow back. They are fish. And not Jet only that, your lure that you spend, you know, hours dragging along in whatever local lake you're there, it goes past 20 times more fish, even with live scope, than you're ever going to catch. At you least. can't even see the ones on the right on the bottom with live scope. I mean, people have – anyway, I could get going. I'm yeah. not going to get going. Jay, guys. we so encountered – when we were kids, we had a tournament. We encountered, like, the Geronimo of PETA. He was out there in a rubber raft with an oh, oar, yeah. bashing that oar into the water to scare our fish away, dude. <laughs> Didn't he have, he had a, he had a fake that. rod with a fake fish, like a cutout yeah. cardboard yeah. of a fish? Yeah, yeah dude. And then, and then his buddy was running around along That's the bank. Cooper, like Cooper, Cooper River. River. Yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. was there. I have respect for him. Cooper River. Yeah. Like, yeah. that is guts. Yeah. Yeah. There's by the time, like, I still wear one, but, like, everyone had goatees. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and he's out there, like, Getting after it, dude. I was, I, I, I was, I was, yeah, I was respect. Everyone had yeah. goatees. <laughs> <laughs> that is great, man. That reminds me, Brian. Did I ever tell you when I, my daughter and I were out on Round Valley, which is you know the reservoir up near me? Yeah. On a stand-up paddleboard, she wanted to go stand-up paddleboarding, and we're we're coming back. It's dusk, right? We're coming back to the ramp and coming out from the ramp right freshly out from the ramp is a rubber raft <laughs> okay a rubber raft there are five people yes on the raft that looks like they bought it at walmart oh with the little russians. Paddle. Oh, yeah russians yeah probably. or cubans there, four people are wearing the orange life vest oh, brand bank and new Jeez. And the one guy who doesn't have a life vest on, he's got his leg draped over the side of this inflatable raft. And what I want to make sure everybody understands is it's like 200 feet deep. Yes. In Round Valley. It's so deep that when somebody drowns, which does happen because people like this go out in these boats, um, you know, they don't come back up because it's so deep. They don't bloat and come back up. But anyway, these people are going out at dusk in this thing. Can you imagine? Like, Not what good. are these? What are these people thinking, dude? They Not went good. to Walmart. They bought this stuff. They're like, "Oh, there's a lake right here." Yeah, there's not a Brazilian <laughs> wax in sight on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people go out in in storms with probably I don't know. But but we're not sure on people, and right? they're going out in a canoe. We got and plenty it, of people, Jay. It's, the, it's like, you know, like, the, yeah, but you can't save everybody. Cut the Jay, well, what down, if the so ultimate well. plan, though, is like the turtles need food, too? You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. Snappers. Turtles got to eat. Yeah, Pete. snapper. What do you say, Pete? Pete, snappers. Do turtles have to eat or not? Turtles got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it funny? Why is that funnier than me saying it? <laughs> it's Pete. Uh, I don't know. I, I find know. it just, I just find it. People think they're, I don't know, bulletproof. Like, yeah. Hey, Jay, what's the what's your top five? What was the the topic exactly? <laughs> Which one? Like the one you're just talking about. The like, top five things that he like, forgot. Piss him off that yeah, piss you. Top five things that yeah. piss you. We okay. should all go around the room. I just one. I wanted to say something, well, but I wanted to. He be was clear. asking you for the fifth for his next editorial. I'm, I wanted to be clear well, about exactly what he's asking. Let's for. all. We, I think yeah. I think this is a good opportunity for us all to contribute. I'm with ready. Pete. Well, I I agree with BTC. The dock owners think they own the water. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. That's that's the one. Golf clap. <laughs> that's a good one. I'll take it. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 frustrating. They don't know the law. We we deal with it on the industrial facilities here on the riverways. We fish. They chase us off. Yeah. Other. Uh, the, I'm out there with customers a lot of times. They're they're insulting and rude <laughs> and and they they the they threaten 
to call the police. And and here's the other thing, the the the, cops don't the know coast the rules. guard and the cops don't know the rules nope. either. No, they don't. Um, the DNR, you know, has a you know description that you're allowed to fish and go wherever your boat can take you. Um, there's there's so many things that it's unclear, and the actual enforcement of this is is really kind of fuzzy. But bottom line, dock owners thinking they own the water. That makes me nuts. That's a good one, Pete. That's a good one, Pete. I don't know if yeah, that can that be beaten. That grinds my gears. <laughs> yeah. it, you know, yeah, in the South, too, food. now, there, I think it was yeah. Tennessee and Georgia, maybe. They're, they're starting to lease. Landowners are starting to lease stretches of river. Oh, yes. God. Like, yep. The old laws, like, they own the bottom of the river, but uh. not the water. But they they're trying to wall off access along some public waters now. Which that's is, been in that's been in Louisiana forever with the gas and and, and stuff, Jay. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the private stuff down there. But yeah. now it's it's uh, that's in the marsh oh, and the canals. Man. But now they're trying to do it with with Demash. public rivers. So the it's getting worse, man. Wait till the Karens of New Jersey Chinoff. figure out that rule. Oh Rosie my god. Jean. Well, hey, Greenwood Lake. I mean, they don't need to figure it out. They just block off the ramps. Yeah, that's <laughs> crap. That's crap. All right, Beck, your your vote on uh, things that piss you off in the sport? More sleep. Give us one. <laughs> More sleep would be a good one. Uh, Melatonin. Mine is more business. Um, <laughs> it's that anglers want to be deemed – professional athletes just like every other professional athlete yet they refuse to do what other professional athletes do like have representation or they they not be fat they want they want to be seen as you know you know like other professionals yeah. but they refuse to Shave. take the steps to actually be professional. Yes. Look handsome. Yeah, I would agree with that. That's a good <laughs> if I one. said that right, did I say it right? You did say it right. You just shaving right. a handsome part. I, I think a, I think some of it too is is get gets thrown back on the companies because in the in fishing everything's been done the same way for so long. So you know, I'm just being honest. I think sponsors have taken advantage of anglers for a lot of years and have, you know, have have uh, you know trampled over them without the anglers being smart enough to know you know what they should be doing what the their you know their value their worth you know and that's it, sad. it doesn't make it's sense sad. to try to to try to say i'm worth this much who can talk like the you can't talk about yourself in the third person and actually get your true value unless you're a total douchebag yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. and the average person is not therefore <laughs> you should have representation should that have says representation. this person is worth yeah. this it's done in every you other know? sport you well I, I, the, the thing that has always hindered that it's all and it's since the sport started is that when you qualify to be a professional angler you don't get a contract you get a bill now you always say that, Pete. And, yeah. You always and, said that. And, and you, you are not it, – it's not like you're sitting on a quarter-million-dollar minimum contract where we can all – these the, a lot, the guys that are – they're trying to come up with fifty or or $100,000 just to play. So to rock the boat or to do anything controversial to help them live their dream is keeping the beginners – from making the making the move, and the other part of that that has always been a problem is the the, the top end guys um, who are also not wanting to rock the boat. Not all the guys, but you you're making you, the top one percent's making ninety percent of the revenue, and they're we're, they're they're totally cool. So trying to get that group together, it's not. I agree, it, it should happen. But it's been hard. It's mm. it's never been able to happen. Yeah, yeah they just know? won't do it. Dang. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice one, Beck. I agree with that. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you don't have to use that one, Jay. That's just my <laughs> own pet peeve. Yeah. I understand. All right. I g I've got one real quick, then. Uh, I want to go to Dave. I don't have one. Snags. Well, think about one. Right. No. <laughs> snags. I like snags. Snags. We got to do away with snags. Yeah. Snags suck. The snags banning suck. of lead cool. weights with no science. <laughs> no science, lead weights. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. 
my uh, my Sorry, pet Pete. my pet peeve <laughs> is I uh, keep bringing it. My pet peeve is <laughs> I can't talk sa- Sasquatch, but my pet peeve is educational, <laughs> which yep. Pete you can relate to with Bash All University, right. which is I do a lot of uh, in the shops and I do a lot of like mm. teaching techniques. I do a lot of these and techniques. I have a lot of people chime in. It's always like this negative connotation, like, "Oh, that's you didn't make, you didn't develop." Here, that. It, here it is, Michael. Hold uh, on, hold on a di- second. That's because they don't teach people how to communicate online. It's a brand new thing, right? Maybe. We, did we grow up communicating online? No, David. I, know. I, I just no, recently it's a started. new thing. Like you gotta, you gotta. That that should be a class. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. Imagine the dude you're talking to is standing in front of you with his wife and his family and his mom and his kids, and say that same shit. Yeah, yeah. you wouldn't call like, them. You that. have to. They wouldn't do it. Nah, it's it's it, it's just I don't know. Yeah, we just don't know how to do it. So yes, it's a lot of douchebaggery. Jay, did you hear? What you, you just got Brian's. Term. You just got Brian's answer, and I think that's the best one. Douchebaggery. No. Online classes on how to communicate online. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's worse than that. Like the rest honestly. of this show. <laughs> I mean, if if somebody has the chance to communicate with Mike, all right, you know, there's a couple of ways they should be respectful of Mike. Number one is he's another person. True. You know, number two is he's a man. So if you're not you know of age or you're a kid or whatever you know and then most importantly if it's about fishing are you going to be disrespectful of mike when you're communicating did you maybe think he knows something Mm. and i i think it just goes back to like what happened to manners man you know like how were these people raised like you can't you can't do that to somebody especially what if mike was out there and giving a seminar and these Jack wagons were heckling them. Like, who are they? Yeah, that's the funny thing. They win a classic? Did they win this? Did they win that? That's the funny thing. It never happens. No, it doesn't. All these years, it's never happened. But it's every never happened. every Sunday, like premier, like you know, elite athletes are called bums by dudes, oh, fat, yeah. sloppy yeah. dudes named oh, Lou yeah. eating well, wings. When I got oh, to yeah. walk with, around with a Miller Lite and a dirty white T-shirt on their couch. Yeah. Well, when I got to walk around him with him at the classic Ooh. and see him speak to, you know, 150, 200 people per booth he went to. Like it was, it wasn't like that. It was never seeing you interact with them was truly one of the most humbling and most like, uh, interesting things. Yeah, it's I'd always ever a very, seen, very you know? cool experience yeah, in person, really but it's, you get online and you talk about, you're trying to instruct people how to fish a Ned rig. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, you know, you didn't create the Ned rig. Ned Flanders should sue you. That's why I think Brian what? has already hit it. What? Just trying to talk about the Ned Rick. We right. Becca? Dave? I mean, so what What? What bothers me, Jake? I, I really don't follow fishing. So, I mean, um, <laughs> like, I would have to say the lack of interest in Sasquatch with fishing. Hey! I, mean, I, don't know what else yeah. I agree 100%. More Sasquatch. More Sasquatch. More Sasquatch, Sasquatch please. Hold Le- on. Less Ned Rigs. <laughs> I was trying to make a cowbell Less sound. Ned Jay? Ned Riggs, <laughs> drop shots, pound <laughs> <laughs> test. Right. Seriously, if Sasquatch, if, if he can, like, you know, stay above, you know, in front of the curve, in front of the, 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 the heat, Yeah. he knows what's going on. He's hot dialed. Heat. He's tuned in. Yeah, yeah hot We heat. can learn something from that. He's, he, he's eating we crawfish. We know not to go out and fish today because they ain't going to bite. Right. Because Sasquatch done snatched him. Yeah, ain't right. going to bite. Yo. They had a derb on a uh, on a uh, knock today. Who did they? Thirty five. Yeah, I was supposed yeah. to fish it. Thirty five votes. Thankfully, I worked. Uh. Translation tournament on knock a Yes. Yeah. Thirty five boats. What? One limit. Whoa. One four fish limit. Whoa. Tough. Yeah. Transition. Eleven pound limit. Whoa. For knock a mixin. Uh, that's like nothing. Dude. Yeah. And like second place was like two fish. Holy hell. Yeah. Huh. Keith it was Bob. tough. That's what I'm saying. Like. We could learn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think so. Mm. He, I f- he fished with Valdi. I hooked him up with John. Oh, man. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Paul, do you, well, have a, do you have a pet peeve? Of the I have. Uh-oh. Paul's I abso- got one. I absolutely do. Okay. I am one of the biggest diehard bed fishermen you'll ever meet as a bank angler. Yeah. Boo. And you got... <laughs> Get out of here. You got the, <laughs> you got the holier than thou type of fisherman trying to give us crap about bed fishing. Right. Because they think, oh, you're just a, 
you're taking them off the beds, and next thing you know, there's going to be swarms of bluegills. No. I'm catching that fish. I'm getting a picture of it, Releasing and I'm putting it, it right back yeah. where I get it from. Paul, put yourself in. Paul, switch positions. Hmm. What about it? Put yourself in that spot. You're the egg. You're, no, <laughs> you're, you're, on, you're, you're on the bed. You're on the bed. You're bedding them down. Yeah, and I'm not taking them home. I'm just making them famous by getting a picture, right. posting on social media, and putting it back into do its business. Make exactly. them famous. And see, the thing is, by doing so, I'm giving that fish experience <laughs> so that it's going to be harder for <laughs> the next person. To catch the next time. Exactly. A memory. Exactly. A memory in his mind. Pete? What? Uh, That's you, a good point. It is a good point. Okay. Yeah. Paul, the best part. dealing with that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. I get it. Paul, the best part is when you beef. take him home. This is like family feud. Yeah. This is like family feud. All right, Jake. Yeah. Survey says. Yeah, Jake, uh, pet peeve, fishing. Big Wh- fishing why, uh, why people hate on live scope when it doesn't make you the uh, most phenomenal angler and you're not catching every single fish? I would fish. agree with that. Because I, 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 I watch them on live scope and you still can't catch them half the time. Yeah, but you know the saying, if you're not scoping, you're hoping. You're hoping. You're hoping. Absolutely. Yeah. Scoper. Yeah. Brian DeCarpenter, things that piss you off. Oh, Most <laughs> everything. <laughs> Life. <laughs> Becky said, "Keep it short." <laughs> um, guys that fish during the week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> guys that fish during the week. Jay, that's everyone that great. Just, I take that person. Stop <laughs> working during COVID. That's, never went back. That's, that's right. Crap. Guys get to fish during the week. COVID. That's right. They're Next. off permanently <laughs> after COVID. That's right. You should get. You should go to work. Work eighty hours in Stalag, <laughs> United States. Yeah. Uh, Don't uh, interrupt Ryan's thoughts. Go. Accumark. Ac- no. Go back to Accumark. No, see, you lost him. Yeah, you lost him. Uh, uh, yeah. That's that's the best one. So yeah. that's it. Just no fishing in the middle of the week. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just you know, everybody, everybody that fishes, everybody should golf. <laughs> we should turn in your rods. We hand you golf clubs. That's what it is. Johnny Morris, sign up for it. Bring your rods in. We get the golf clubs. Get off the damn lakes. Go golf. Go do that dumb shit. Watch barstool <laughs> outdoors plays. or sports or whatever. You know. Be one of them guys. So Get off the lake. You guys no are turn, killing it. Don't turn in your guns. Turn in your fishing rods. That's right. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I tell you, related to that, Brian, is guys <laughs> poaching pro spots. Oh. When they're, when they I don't leave. know how it's related, Jay, but I agree with you. Oh. <laughs> that's a bad one, dude. Oh, yeah. Man. That's that has to do with a certain size. So- yeah. It's guys that are measuring up that, that don't measure. and It's, hmm. it's an ego thing. Nice. It is. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, it is an ego thing. It's well, an ego thing, and yeah. it's 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 time. It's they're small. It's really little. <laughs> One of my favorites is when you get in a guy's boat at a open tournament or Toyota or whatever, and you look at his graph and it says at the waypoint, "This is where I called him in 2006. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. where it's out there, and it's it's every spot. Blue dots. Yeah. Uh, How'd you exists? find these heavy oh, blue yeah. dots? I got in several boats. You've guys seen that? They're, they're guys that don't know how yeah. to fish though. Yeah. Guys that have Lorances, they pull them up. You got all yeah. the waypoint management stuff, yeah. and wow. it's, it's labeled right there the Pete. year and who it was, and they can even get the angle, like all three of them lining up to it. It's, yeah, it's horrible. So here's a, a real quick. Let me throw was this that out ang- there. Was Angler like six foot six? And this was J M. I don't know. John McGraw. <laughs> now, listen. Here's a real quick. I just want those out there. So I got um Jared. for that event that I just fished in Italy. I had two practice days with Alessandro, and when we would we'd be out there looking around, we'd find something. What'd you guys win? Jo- NDA. You're trying to sabotage me. NDA. Uh, we'd put a mark, you know, like a dot or whatever, but he, everything would be Ike whatever. So it was so funny because then at the end of two days of practice, Matt was lit up with Ike waypoints. So it was, <laughs> it was Ike grass, Ike weed. Of course it was, dude. Ike drop, Ike bumble clot. <laughs> bumble clot? <laughs> yeah. What's that? Uh, I don't think it's a good Jay? word. Definition of bumble clot? Jay. Is that a word? Yes. I, I think bumble it's, clot? I think, I think Google it's it. Bumble not, clot? not a nice word. What? Does it uh, rhyme with both isn't it a Italian spike word? and Ike? It's a Jamaican word. Uh. Jamaican terminology. Does it, bumble clot. Does it, is it a derogatory <laughs> word that rhymes with Ike and spike? No. It also means damn? Dag. No. No? All right. Dead no. gummit. Let's Somebody just say got if my your joke. name was uh, Mike Funky. You'd have the same initials as what this word means. You got me? Yeah. You'd be an MFR. Hey! There it is. <laughs> Bumble Big clock. Ben Milliken fan. Bumble clock. MFR. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that was funny. Yeah. So, so, Jay, I'm sure you got nothing for your fifth on this group here. 
Oh, I, I got it. I'm good. All I'm right. good. Okay. You probably figured it out Yo. while we were talking. Yeah. So the last time Jay was on was in was the Christmas show. He drove down here. Yeah. That's when Dave delivered Stormtroopers Christmas. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that was the old studio, too. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Old studio. That was a good one. Yeah. Pete, what year was that? Uh, five call. years ago? Yeah, probably. That sounds about right. Give or take. Yeah. Three. Call, click, click. Jay? Jay, should we have Bob Lazaro on next show? What's that? Should we have Bob Lazar on on the next show? Bob Lazar. Yeah. <laughs> Dave? Yeah, good luck in Bob Lazar <laughs> on that show. So That'd be Bob, great, man. Yeah, Bob Lazar Bob. is only going on big shows. Bob Lazar, for people that don't know, was a scientist at Groom Lake. He was a guy who specifically was sent into Groom Lake to understand the propulsion of a, a captured uh, alien craft. His whole thing was he built a hydrogen-powered rocket ship before this that like flew across like the desert his yeah his car and he was brought in to him and another guy it was a compartmentalized experiment where some people were here to you know people you know understood the propulsion others understood the steering others understood the computer mechanisms landing gear like everyone had a specific job yeah. Lazar's was specifically propulsion and that's what that reference was i guess mm-hmm. yeah they were re- reverse engineering the power source of these Spacecraft like, that, that we've had since the 50s, 40s. Yeah. And Lazar, You have like, to say it. L- Lazar, the most know. interesting thing about Lazar was, Jay, what was the element? What was the number of the element that he had talked about? Do you know that one? If anyone can Google it. There was an element that was not yet talked uh, about. Oh, 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 F69. No, but there was no. an element. <laughs> like, C3. It was like element. <laughs> what? 115. So element 115, he talked about it before anyone else was talking about it. Huh. And now that we know, like, 20, 30, 40 years mm-hmm. later, like, Element 115, if that's what it is, that's an actual thing. Moscovia. You know, and it had something to do with the actual, it had something to do with the actual structure of the craft, and it was propelled by electromagnetic forces. So, in wow. other words, it operated within our electromagnetic field. It wasn't, it didn't have a propulsion, so to speak. It, it constructed itself within the magnetic field. Whoa. That's too deep. I There's plenty of interviews that. with him talking about that. Bob Lazar. <laughs> let's get him. Yeah. BTC? I hope he's a You're bass angler. I can't understand live scope. How am I going <laughs> to understand that? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, Jay, thank you for coming on the show tonight. We we really got to, to jump around uh, <laughs> with many topics tonight. Uh, and I like that. I like that. You know, I, I really do savor the moments where we get away from fishing a little bit. It's yeah, and yeah. I can't hear you. <laughs> Bryce still has to learn How's a microphone. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you don't have your own microphone. You can't catch a bass and can't operate a microphone. Catching a bass <laughs> or producing a podcast. Yeah. yeah. That might have something to do with the mustache. He met somebody with his hands in his pockets. He ain't even, <laughs> <laughs> he ain't even talking. <laughs> uh, Jay, thanks for coming on. We uh, we look forward to keeping up with you on Bass Blaster. and uh, Great costume, by the way. Yeah, good costume. Good costume. <laughs> Fantastic. You know what the funny thing, though? I honestly, like, I look forward to my... Bass, Bass Blaster emails. Yes. Like, yeah. that's probably one of the favorite things, so I'll have yep. them. Dude, it's funny. Like, yeah. I would say 10 to 15 emails I get a day, and I'll get, like, um, it's, like, uh, I don't know, like, Ikea, like, uh, Old Nate, you know, like, Delete. all these bull. And then all of a sudden I see the Bass Blaster, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I I'll instantly delete all the rest, and I get to open that, and that's like my news every day. Yeah, so it's really fun for me. So it's great newsletter, that, Jay. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. Listen, well, thank you for reading, guys. Thank you, and and Gal, thank you for having me on, and and Becky, just shout out to you for not enough sleep, and you're still the most lucid person in that room. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. It's not that big of an accomplishment. It tells <laughs> us don't lie. Tell us don't lie. Jay Kumar, everyone. Yes. yes. Thanks, Jay. Happy thank Halloween. You, Jay. Hey, thanks, guys. Have a great night. I appreciate it. You the man, boss. Bye. Pete, I know no. that's deep, some of that conversation. That's deep. Because I, I, that's deep I, water for Pete. No, it is, and I get it. I understand. I, I don't – I mean, I'm – in come on if you're thinking that aliens are a thing i mean there's billions and billions and billions of galaxies of course it's a thing has to be <laughs> you know has i mean be. i don't understand the controversy yeah alien universe i don't understand people getting all <laughs> bent out of shape you gotta get yeah. jeff to film that there, shit. Y- you <laughs> can't believe that we're the only living it's not possible I, d- I don't no. it's not possible no yeah 
Oh, I'd agree with that, Paul. But it's such an unknown to dive into it. As Paul, I, I, believe, I believe email? in them. Yeah, yeah I do too. Paul, uh, Brian and Carpenter, what do you want to do here? We got, we got. Uh, um, do you want to, you want to just do an unboxing of real quick? Do you want to? No. How you want to do it? Okay, we'll do an unboxing real quick, and we'll we'll end this. So, uh, uh, we have <laughs> a one in front of us that's unopened. We have uh, another. Oh, we got to do the red one, one here. Michael, the red oh, you one. We're the there, one. sweetheart. Oh, Jake said the red one. <laughs> Jake said red. Okay, we're going to do an unboxing. <laughs> Why do we act we like it. our shows are interrogations? We got to end it. We got to get it over with. Get the confession. No, I know. No, we don't have to do that. <laughs> but, so here's the thing. You know, like, normally, guys, I open this up with a pen or I use a knife or razor blade. Tonight, a knife? no. Tonight, uh, since I am, God. what's his name? You're going to use Becky's Ralph toenail. Macho. Ralph, Ralph Macho. I want to actually use some karate techniques. Becky's toenail. What is his name in the movie? What is his name? Daniel, dude. It is Daniel. Daniel Russo. Daniel. Daniel Russo. Daniel Russo. That's awesome. Paint a fence. I had forgotten. Paint a fence. Pizza Putin spy. Wax. Is he? Putin Pete. Putin Paint a fence. I am Polish. Wax the flow. Open the mystery tackle box. <laughs> You're gonna. <laughs> Dang. God, they gotta. Sh well, they gotta ship them. So they use like space tape. Hey. All right, I got it. Hey. Someone's getting that box. You should probably have sliced it to help fake the uh, karate chop. Oh, how my hand hurts. Because you got like a trouble looking at. All right, we're gonna uh, let's start with Pete tonight. We're gonna, you know, the how the how this drill works. We're the only live podcast. Yeah, Pete. That was, that was where that was where Kung Fu Theater meets Richard Simmons. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> fishing's way easier. Not doing karate anymore. <laughs> Are you uh, ready for me to go? Can yep. I go? Yep, go. Can I and roll? Yep, you know the rules. All right. uh, we're going to pick Can one I and throw? we're going to talk I, about I, it. I went to, I went to Topwater. This is an excitement. Ooh. But here's hey. the deal. Hey. We just we just filmed with Lee Livesey on Lake Fork, and he was teaching about how to go uber shallow in like six inches of water for giant, hard-to-catch fall largemouth. Yeah. And and it, I don't. This wasn't the bait that he was using, but it was like this bait, walking bait, a walk the dog style bait. Yeah. And he doubled in six inches of water. Caught it first time we've ever had a, a double caught on Bass University. Two Jake, bass on one bait. Two bass, one bait. Very very cool. Yep. Livesey. Very cool. Big Paul? Jake. Big Jake. By your foot. Yeah. Hand that over to Paul when you get a chance. Ray Livesey. Cool bait. And by the way, that one's got three trebles on it, Fake which dude. is something I look for in a walking bait. I want that third treble. Extra hooking power. Yeah. Yep. Oh. I want that. Yeah. What do you got, Beck? So I have the Vile Crawl. Yo, Vile. Uh, Biospawn. I just grabbed it because I thought it was kind of a fun crawl with its little, like, leggies. It yep. almost has, like, a, a, I like those little a leggies. smaller, almost frog. You know what I mean? Like yeah. This has got, like, a weird, like, diamond It's got, like, a wedge shape. Wedge yeah, shape. it's interesting. Yeah. Plus, it's, uh, I think this one's called sprayed grass, which is, like, a green pumpkin oh, with green and purple flakes Damn, in Pete. it. Kind of. Spray grass. What a good double. Color. Okay. <laughs> My man. I like it. I like that it doesn't have the appendages. So it can slip through heavy cover. Uh, a lot of times you got to pull those things off, try to get it through. <laughs> in and out. In and out. Easy yeah. in and out. Uh. All right. I I picked a bait now. Talk about a hybrid bait. Now, honestly, this is one, you know, we open these boxes a lot, and some of the stuff gets put back, and some accidentally gets put in my shop. This is probably one that's going to find its way in the shop. Look at that thing. But I've got a uh, – this is a, a lure by Major Craft, and it's called a – Jig para spin. I have no idea what that means, but here's what I like about it. Check this out, Dave. Part blade bait, like yeah. metal blade bait, part tail spinner. What? And here's the other thing. It's a most tail, tail spinner. But most tail spinners out there have one treble. Two trebles. Mm. Let me see that bait. again. I didn't see the second treble. Two trebles. -uh. Dang. One, two. Yo. Oh, so -uh. this is definitely with uh, late fall, winter coming up, Pete, cold water, mm. fish getting more vertical. Yep. This is something Dang. I would throw. Stay it's off my wall. I'll stay it, off your wall. I only hit it once this year so far. Bass, about that bass. Two treble. See, fun. now I went, I went a little bit more romantic for you 50-year-old plus guys. <laughs> <laughs> I went, with, not dead. I went with a creme knockoff of the Senko. Oh! oh. A creme Senko? A creme? So there's duality to my <laughs> choice. One is the nostalgia of creme, uh. and two is the ever-so-awesome 
uh. June bug color that is so prevalent in Florida. Oh, yeah. Mike, shame on you for not bringing these guys on in principle alone. I know. Crap, oh dude. Yeah, I know. Dude. I know. All those years. You br- can I can I mention this, Mike? Because no. we just it, we just well, did a, a seminar with Brian Schmidt. Mike, you got to listen to this. You got to listen. Mike, I'm telling it. you what, Brian. Brian's the master at grass fishing. He is. And a swim jig. Yeah. His go-to color. June bug. Yeah. A swim jig. Wow. On uh, like you, you, we know that color is yeah. all plastics. But he was throwing that before jigs were even made in that color. But how how many jig companies do you know making a June bug? Swim jig. Yeah. Why not? Right? It's right. terrific in plastics. Pete, why nostalgia not wise. Makes Tell me first bugs. first thing, <laughs> smell it, first thing that comes to your mind. Oh, man, it just brings me back to being a kid. Right. What specifically when you opened up what? Uh Gill Rakers. Dude, your hard tackle box smelled like that. Yeah. In eighties bathroom. That was your hard uh, yeah, tackle yeah. box. Because yeah. eighties bathhouse was like that. Nice. Yeah. An eighties bathroom. It's just that plastic dude. Oh, you know what I learned? Uh I just learned well, uh it was it was nice on this uh trip to um, uh Spain. Yeah. Trip to Italy. Italian. Uh Spain. Uh, we also had uh Ken. Uh what's Ken's last name? The Japanese angler. Uh, I'm gonna Ken go Iobi. Ken I'm gonna Iobi go fished with us in this event. And I learned from Ken that in a Japanese spa or bathhouse, you cannot be tattooed or they will not let you in. What? Yes. Because oh, you're a filthy cretin. Well, they think you're a mafiosa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. I could get in a, there. So you couldn't get in there? I couldn't get in there. No. No. Beck? Well, a lot of people in this room couldn't, couldn't get, get in, in, there. in there. Prove it. I could get in there full <laughs> Paul Pelosi hammer attacker. <laughs> Phil's win. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's win. <laughs> All right, Paul, what do you got? <laughs> well, I'm a big fan of the spinner baits, a good moving bait. I uh, got the Phoenix 3 8 ounce uh, Shore Master spinner bait. Oh, heck yeah. That oh. actually looks good, dude. Yeah, Paul. It's good search bait, good fall bait. Yeah, what's the blade uh, blade color combination on that? Silver uh, angles? Both, both silver. silver. Two Double silver. Yeah, okay. both silver. Double silver. Shad. Paul, yeah, did you used to have more hair? Good. Like, did you used to have, like, a big bush? Yes, I got a buzz cut. You went yeah. You went private pile on us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like pile. it short. Looks good short. That threw me off. I, I like it. Jake, what do you got? Well, since I'm not going to go fishing until January next time, uh, <laughs> I, Brian and I get the same fishing schedule. I got an Acme V-Rod, which is a blade bait. Oh. It's got a little pink on the head, chartreuse and orange, so it's got a little bit of everything for smallmouth. Ooh, Small clown, like yeah. clown yeah, color. Basically, yeah, yeah. Pete, clown color blade bait makes a lot of sense. Coming from our 18-year-old, cheers, Ted Danson. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you should be calling people by their characters' name. Yeah. Oh, I should be. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Sorry, Ted. Ted. I've had. <laughs> don't do it, Pete. I've had four whiskeys. I don't want to put that mask back on. <laughs> <laughs> Things will go very wrong. <laughs> Things will go very wrong. <laughs> Uh, All right, know, whoever wins Magnum. tonight, we're, we're, sending them, next. we're sending them a box of uh, stuff. They're gonna get the mask because I, I don't I don't know yeah. if I can I don't know yeah. if I can, I don't know if I have the, the, the mustache. Yeah, remember we send like a you know a Lego or you know like <laughs> yeah. we randomly like throw like shit in there like or something a Frito oh, Lay that good. Pete drooled on signed a, bread. a, sink, a sinker last time one of Jake's sinkers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> we gotta hook it up. All right, last but not something least, Brian, special. what do you got from MTB Box? Okay. I have this uh, this this little satchel of big bite baits. It's a uh, Jake. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it looks like a slimmed down version of their uh, their gill thing. Know what I mean? What the? Oh, hell? I like double tail. Dude, now there's holes in it, Jake. What is that? One. I can't see. Now it's about as awesome as MTV's weather report. <laughs> 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 I can beg your brother. I look up and they're both on their phones. Um, <laughs> No, it's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brian, what do you think? I'm not on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Apparently I'm not on my phone. I'm playing with my bait. <laughs> uh, that made me drool. <laughs> uh, uh, it looked like it looked like the Kaleo crawl. Uh, oh, from that, little, yeah, it's, yeah it's a little molly crawl. Little, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Little. You could absolutely kill a person in prison with this, dude. You probably could. What'd you get? A shank? There's a shank ripping y'all. What is that? It's a fish shaped. It's shank. a fish opener beer beer uh, cap popper shank. That came in the box? Nah, but it's right yeah, there. We could put it in the Some bottom table. Somebody will get a Use the code. You get that. This that is the Kamikaze sw- Swim On. Dude, that's dope that's bait. That and it's a uh, June Chatter- bug. Chatterbait trail. Throw that. I want to um, give a shout-out to um, 
mystery tackle box is social media person. They're, they're social media kills. Oh yeah. my god, they're they so crush. good. They're so good. They're good people. Oh, they they kill it. Yeah. So shout, shout out to MTB social person. Uh, if you want to leave MTB and work somewhere else, uh, <laughs> look us up. We're looking for a person right now. So. <laughs> 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 it was nice knowing you yeah, guys. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's always good for the relationship. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. No, I, I want to steal, um, what do you call us, uh, social media person? Who? Uh, We're not uh, stealing anybody's. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we are. I <laughs> want to steal a minute to claim victory on things you guys have dismissed me for my entire life on. Jay oh, Kumar, who you most respect, everyone in this room respects. Didn't disagree and absolutely validated no, he actually, everything I he said. He actually agreed with everything I know. Said, I know that. Which is very unique. And I have been dismissed, <laughs> diminished, and insulted over my entire <laughs> life over these things. Not not a hundred percent. Yeah, not a hundred percent. That's a little. Not a hundred percent. Not much. everything. Not everything. Probably. Well, you, you're pretty harsh 60. though, Dave. Like you start out insulting whoever you're talking to, <laughs> and Thank then you. you Want to not to be listened to, uh, yeah. you know? It's, it's like, what do you call? What do you call me? Uh, I, I plain call or white? What's the word? <laughs> white bread. Oh, no, normie. 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 Yeah, you're a normie. <laughs> just, you start right out. Yeah, like, normie. What do you call yeah. me? Come on. Now, but how Pete, am I supposed to listen to you after that? And he starts cracking jokes that go right <laughs> over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get. The, I didn't even get. It. Oh, Paul didn't get the jokes you made on him. <laughs> <laughs> I I gave exactly. Paul, I'm so, I was just having fun with you, man. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I can <laughs> tell. But, Pete, if, did you know? Did you even know who Bob Lazar was? Or did you think that was the name of, like, a new balloon? Well, I didn't. <laughs> I, why would I? You, you, you should be speaking in terms of a scientist that's doing so. I don't remember the guy's name. No, but, I mean, you know? my point is. That sounds fun. Pete, I don't. I yeah, yeah I don't come out attacking right away. I attack. No, nah, you're pretty in much a, out of gate. Two seconds you're like, later. <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> not, it all is right. My point is, is <laughs> my point is, everyone in this room it's not Bob Sully attack, <laughs> but it's just one <laughs> notch down. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's, a habit, it's a setup, and then it's an attack. This is yeah. a, a yeah. further yeah. diminishment of me. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone loves Jay, but because Jay agreed with me, somehow I'm still an asshole for <laughs> my point. <laughs> Because he's got that radio voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I could talk like an like an educated man, it would be different. Actually <laughs> actually you were extremely articulate as you talked about this stuff Always. tonight. Yeah. Was, yeah, that that was very impressive. Yeah, well no. I'm just reciting what I hear. That's all. It's mockingbird. Parody. Yeah. It's out to lunch, but very that's not out to lunch, Pete. <laughs> that's where you're wrong. Well now that now that I know Kanye has officially bought parlor parlor, I'm I'm gonna subscribe. Kanye, okay. so Mike, since you've been in Italy, a lot have happened. Okay. Oh my God. Kanye has oh been absolutely smashed. I won't go into what he was smashed about, but Kanye is now delisted from every sponsor he, he ever had. Yes, we'll talk about it after the show. I'm sure. I okay. don't disagree with Kanye. Yeah. I'm just merely saying things have changed since you've been in Italy. Oh, okay. Checking he out architecture and hanging out. And uh -huh. hang, yeah, he, he transgressed and spoke about something you're not supposed to huh. in that realm. Okay. And in your we'll, realm, we'll talk too. about show. I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> no. Nah. But uh, uh, it was a good show. Uh, let's. Uh, I got another guest sitting in the queue. Oh, let's we get do? him on. No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I have another whiskey <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Beck's face? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's well she was done. a cross. Easy. Right right as you said well that, done. she became a cross between Peg yeah. and Little Mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Combined. <laughs> <laughs> she got the seats. <laughs> Oh yeah. my goodness! You look good with bangs, though. Yeah, you how about shit. Bangs? Can we? End we we do have an MTV right. box winner. We do. We yes. Do. Okay. So let's do this. Uh, of course, we had the like and share contest over Facebook. We're gonna give you We're one of these boxes. Not dancing, bro. <laughs> Who do we got? We have Dustin Grant. Dustin Grant is Dustin. our winner for the like and share. Yes. Okay, Dustin Grant. Yes, Good Dustin. Job, Dustin. Dustin. Woo! Was there any? Woo, 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 was woo. there any funny IMs other than like Drunkwood with his inch long nipple hair? Like, there was, was there anything, of, dude? There was a lot, but you guys Bri are rolling. Brian looks like Ron Jeremy. I'm now Bob Saget. Bob Saget's closer. Yeah. Than, yeah, than, than Ted Danson. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Closer. I yeah. still think Rest the, the peace, 90210 thing works. Right, Luke. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking Luke. That's what yeah, I thought Luke. it was. Yeah. Yeah. 
If he just had the jacket, didn't he always have like a leather jacket? He did have. He he no, had a, a cloak on it yeah. at all times, but he did have a flannel and he did have that. And, and yo, you so got to be cloaked. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanksgiving show, trying to have Luminati in here. That'd be awesome. The studio. That'd be awesome. That'd be freaking great. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. This is all pending. <laughs> yeah. Miss Rebecca's approval. Scheduling, can Lou? Can we get Lou to bring his trophy in? Yes. That'd be cool. And his boat. <laughs> His boat, it's yeah, be sitting right there. We're going. Hell to yeah, sit in it, <laughs> yeah. Let's put it to rest out in Palatine. Yes, <laughs> got a good uh, spot for it. <laughs> for Christmas, I'm trying to get Eric and the boys, Eric, Kai, and Johnny up here. Oh here. my that god, would be dope, super yeah. dope. Yeah. yeah, I would sit where Paul is in in the. Uh, Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was going to insult no, we're you. Gonna play, we're gonna <laughs> again, again, wow! I pulled back to the wow. end, Paul. To the end. I wish you would fire back because you make me feel like a fucking asshole. To be honest with you, <laughs> well, I wish you, I you, wish are. you would you shoot are. back oh. at me. <laughs> <laughs> well deserved. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. We've got to plan this, but coming like February is ten years for us. Wow, it's yeah. a big really? moment. Damn. So yeah. I know you're, you're about oh to hit the road. Yeah. But we got to plot that out. Yeah, we do. that needs to be a big one. What yeah. was our first show? Our first show. Was it Trent? Our first show was Mike was about to leave for the Classic. Ed Bassmaster. It wasn't, it wasn't Trent. No, no, you're right. It was Ed Mike Bassmaster. was leaving for the Classic. Our second show. Oh, yeah. Talking to Mike. Yeah. Our second <laughs> show was Mike came home and Randy Howells won the Classic. He invented red, the whole thing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he invented, he invented red, red and, yeah. and he, and he, and he took he, over the show. Yeah. yeah. We learned a lot. Yeah. We and you guys still thought it was awesome not to have me here? What happened? And you still thought it was awesome not to have me here? You ain't getting away, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying by that time, you, you still thought it was just awesome. Just give me another job to make sure you be here. <laughs> you have no idea what you do to me, bro. <laughs> 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 Love you, man. Um, yeah. Cool. So that should be a big one. That's a big one. Ten, ten years. years ten That's years. a long time, dude. God damn. Yeah, ten years, yeah. dude. You know how many views Thirsty YouTube guys got off our interview last last show? Millions. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Say what, again? What are you talking about? So, well, we had the uh, tournament director. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so Mike, we don't, we don't something Brian and I talked about with that. You might find this interesting. Millions. So, we don't know. I mean, we're, it's not confirmed I heard that guy was a police officer. The tournament director yes. or the – okay. Maybe. Yeah. So there – maybe. Like, from a legal perspective, this is super interesting because there's Fourth Amendment privileges that get pushed on to someone when someone is a police officer versus okay. an average citizen. Okay. The average citizen tournament director who cuts open the belly and a bunch of weights fall out, there's no Fourth Amendment protection. Mm. Like a security officer in a store right. or a cashier who catches someone shoplifting. There's no Fourth Amendment privilege presented to the person who's stealing or allegedly right. stealing. This guy's a police officer and they knew and, and, and supposedly was on and these guys knew he was. Uh. So what Fourth Amendment protections? Becky eliminated that when I was trying to talk about it earlier. What Fourth Amendment protections initially were activated upon those weights falling out That's of the stomach? Wow. Something that's, uh, that's all. That's super. Something Jay Spiegel? About. What do you think about that? <laughs> You're an attorney. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Schwartz and Schwartz and Schwartz. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> What's their attorney saying? They're not yeah. guilty. Not and guilty. And they're going to defend them. That they're going to lose yeah. their fishing license, and that's and it will go away. That's you know, what's, what's going to happen. Honestly, Plea bargain. that thing, that point right there is the thing that really upsets me the most about cheating that has happened in fishing is nobody has ever been convicted. In any kind of significant manner, ever, mm. or um, well, not ever. It, like you think of all the the latest ones, the big one in FLW, the 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 fit, the weighted fish. So, uh, Pete, what you're the saying? Fish trap. I mean, I mean, skip to it because I'm gonna back you up. Is frontier justice? Let's be real. If you follow the letter of the law, and you, 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 uh, yeah, you're gonna find a loophole and s skim out on some lawyer bullshit. People need to get punched in the face once in a while. <laughs> yep. I'm you not said that saying to show. a point that I'm people not. get, like, you know, disabled for the rest of their life. But a broken nose leaves a mark. It leaves an impression. 
More people need to get punched in the fucking face. Support what it's you're just saying, a fact, man. Because in criminal cases, because I learned some of my best lessons, get punched, and you were one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you were one of them. You're picking like, on me. <laughs> I don't know. No, I wasn't picking on you're you. I was just running my mouth, but I realized, <laughs> all right, stupid, hold your hands better, or shut the hell up. Like yeah. it lasted. It was a lasting lesson. Criminal some case. Some people they only understand a good piece of hickory. Criminal cases. John Wayne. Yeah. Burden of proof. Civil cases. Becky. Preponderance of evidence. OJ wasn't convicted in the criminal court. He was convicted Likewise, in a civil court. Yeah. The civil court. So these other anglers <laughs> sue, and you will win with preponderance of evidence versus overwhelming proof. We'll see. I'm be interested. I'm concerned about the sport that we need to be decisive. We need we need to we need to eliminate people that are cheating, and. We need to be strong in that regard mm. and find a way to really you cheat punish, it. We'll, we'll take away your check for that event. What about what else? What about the three hundred? Or less? Well, they took the three hundred or less. They took their boat, didn't they? Yeah, they did. No, no they, they didn't take about it. Other but we are assuming. We are so assuming now, but for the so, investigation. Yeah, but there's things that fall in line. Who said that? You, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. So in fishing game. The threshold for confiscation, confiscation of property is far less than it is for law enforcement, right? Like regular law enforcement. Like so, Fish and Game has way more leniency in terms of searching a vehicle for a Fish and Game violation versus a regular police officer. So that's only temporary. They took the boat. It was because of a suspected Fish and Game <laughs> violation, I would assume. I mean, if, if we're going by New Jersey law, and most laws are all the same, what am I missing? I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Becky, asleep. I don't know. How are you still our, here? Our hosts and hostess are very tired. Yes. Under Peg, Peg listen, everyone. Let's left close hours this show. Peg yeah. Bundy, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Peg Bundy. <laughs> Round of applause for Peg Bundy. Yeah. Gone on a one, I guess. two, three hours sleep. <laughs> Dave's like, what the hell? I was in the middle of my yeah, shit. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, golf clap. Peggy saw your thunder by sleeping. By sleeping. <laughs> she thinks she's still in the doubt of you. Uh, <laughs> she's actually in the United States. Yeah. I think it's time to shut us down. Mark. It is time to shut us down. Uh, what else do we have? Fact, any, this is any the longest you've ever made a show. Any uh, cleanup? We're good. Uh, any cleanup? Good. Anybody, any cleanup? Nope. We got anything else? All right. Listen. Yeah, I got a shout out to, yeah. chef, to chef Eric. Yo, Chef. Yeah. Chef, chef's buddy lives a couple blocks away. Yeah. Helped me out a lot today. Getting shit done. Um, check out Ed Bassmaster's channel. Right, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Ed. Yeah. Yeah, we just pranked Chef like a month ago or something. Nice. Good Pete? guy, great man. Nice. Remember? Check out the Egg Sunday. Oh, you, Thank uh, you, you got to put your headphone now. on. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> heard a fucking thing he said. <laughs> you can just hold it. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ginger. Oh, let me zoom in. <laughs> Come Let's on, go. Ginger. Let's go, Pippi Longstocking. Get some other. Oh, oh, ginger. Please, please check out the Ike Foundation. We're doing a lot of great stuff right now. Yes, we are. Yeah, lots of it. I would agree with that. Uh, I want to thank everyone in the studio. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with the uh, names tonight of uh, Freddy Krueger to my right. Thank you, Freddy, for being here tonight. We appreciate that. Thank you. Um, it's always uh, good to be here. Pam Anderson. I mean, Peg Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being on the show tonight. I want to uh, thank uh, who's in pajamas. You look like I know. I feel if they're actually comfortable. I uh, want to thank uh, Mr. T. Pain. For coming in. Thank Pain. you, Mr. T. It's good seeing you. <laughs> uh, Mr. T, you look great tonight. Thank you. And you're still angry as ever, which is also great. Also, want to thank um, the uh, Raptor for coming. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Sorry about that. Yeah. Paul for coming in, trying to search Rex for coming in tonight. Yes, that's Dino's a T Rex. T Rex, Dino, Rex. John Wayne Gacy, everyone. Yes, huh. John Wayne Gacy. Uh, also, want to thank uh, kid, man. Uh, the guy from Cheers or the guy from uh, Full House. Full House. Uh, 90210. 90210. Luke. <laughs> yeah. Your local lawyer. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. And last but not least, Jay Spiegel. Jay Spiegel, Magnum PI. I invented football and yes. kicking balls off of a thing yes, in the Jay. middle of the field. Jay Magnum, thank you for coming on. Also want to thank uh, the one and only Jay Kumar. How do you say it? Jay. Jay Kumar. Jay Kumar <laughs> for coming on tonight from Bass Jay Classic. was awesome. Thank you, Jay. Jay was great. And uh, look and forward. That Yes. His book, Dark Woods, by the way, in the background, if you can find it anywhere, it's Dark Woods. It's interesting. I want to read that now. Yeah. I really do. I'll give, uh, I'll give you my copy. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to Halloween Mar Special. Marcello uh, Vanicetti from Italy tuned in. Thank, oh! you, thank you. Oh, oh he, he won Marcello, he won what? ciao. He can't win anything because he's in Italy. Grazie. Becky, you got to ship him. A, uh, <laughs> 
80 pound box of uh, stickers yeah, to, to, to Italy. Italy. That'll be okay. We can probably do that. I have stickers everywhere. <laughs> the, all winning, Venice, the winning bag of Roma, stickers. Roma everywhere. Winning I'm, bag of stickers. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next time. Good night. Bye. Bye. All right, Paul. Paul. Wax off. We're going to you, Paul. Wax off. Paint the fence. Paint the fence. Paint the fence. Wax off. Wax off. Dude, he looks like one of the slee stacks from. <laughs> <laughs> What the crap? Oh, jeez.